Hello, everybody. I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisha. So... I wasn't sure what to do first in Vampire Survivors. We, we technically haven't cleared the tower. Because I don't think we hit level 80, so we didn't unlock the level that's after that. So we still have a lot of characters to get their cards with. I was thinking we could possibly build up more cards to use for the tower to make it a bit less awful. There's also a lot of secret characters we haven't unlocked that we could do with the areas we have unlocked in the beginning. So we might revisit some stages to start. The problem is that, like, I forgot about one of them and I remembered after our six-hour stream. There is kind of an annoying character unlock to basically... I have to spam, I think, down and enter whenever I kill a Reaper. I forgot to do that last time. I could have unlocked one of the more annoying characters if I'd remembered in the moment. Sadly, I remembered now where it's not relevant. The next time we kill, like, the Drowner or a Reaper... Yeah, it's in reference to, like, Mortal Kombat. I remember mashing on my keyboard. I remember that the first time in the beta. I literally was, like, I was playing with one hand, and then my right hand rested on, like, the down and enter. I just spammed it over and over and over when we had Pentagram on Drowner. It's probably easiest to do on Dairy Plant or Bone Zone. Maybe Bone Zone's a little easier. I don't know if there's new ways to do it, but that's just what I remember doing last time. I remember that one being kind of annoying. I I'm not going to lie. I remember being kind of annoying to do. I doubt that they made it easier for the input. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Oh. My own personal audio cut out for some reason. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, I think we're mostly good here. There's also this adventure path thing, which I do want to try at some point. But right now, we'll we'll save we'll save it for later. I want to beat the starting areas with new characters. We already did it with Antonio. We've never beat a single run with Pascalina. I should probably do that. The goal is to eventually just beat the game as every character once. Covers also multiplies all healing sources. Overhealing slightly increases my health. Interesting. So we did unlock this character from our little adventure earlier. They seem to have better starting health in exchange for less armor. But anyway, I do want to kind of beat the characters one by one. I don't know if I really want to play Imelda again. I I think I just want to try to beat with new characters because we have so many cards to play with. Eventually, we could try to beat every area and see how it goes. Oh, that reminds me. I almost made a foolish mistake. I really wish it would just memorize this, to be honest with you. I don't know why I have to do this every single time. I find that so weird. I'm like, I, I, it's not like I play this outside the stream. Need more floor chicken. Welcome, remote battery. Hope you're also doing well. Yeah, let's try to beat it with Pascalina, because we should get a card from this. See how things go. Yeah, we could play these other things, but let's focus on uh, cleaning this up a little bit. I like how there's other difficulties. We'll worry about other difficulties later. I didn't kazoo? What the heck is this? That is a choice. Is it just a kazoo remix of every song? Welcome remote battery. How am I doing? I'm kind of tired. That is certainly a choice. Apparently I could just make it go full kazoo if I want to. I mean, if chat wants the full kazoo, 
We'll do the forest one. How do I... Why does it not let me menu this? I'm a little confused. Yeah, it wasn't letting me get back to the stage select. Why was that? Did it not like me picking the kazoo? Oh, now you let me do it. That was weird. I swear I hit left on the d-pad and it didn't do anything the first time. Anyway, I guess we'll kazoo it up. Um... I don't know if we have anything that actually does. So horrible. I don't think anything we choose matters here. I guess I'll do Iron Blue Will for now. Or I could just random. I don't think it really matters. Um, or I could do Wicked Season. I try Wicked Season. We never try that. There's an unknown thing in the corner. I should probably go for that. Oh, Chad enjoys the kazoo. There you go, chat. Choose my upgrade. So we have characters to unlock, we have abilities to get. I guess it's just cycling what bonus I have right now. Oh, I was trying to get it to bounce into them. Definitely feels like a troll music choice. I might as well walk into this for XP. Come on, game. Wow, they're not even guaranteed to drop XP. That's terrible. Oh, wow, we see Bone by itself for the first time. I think this is the first time we've ever seen Bone in the random select. Knife will be fun. Definitely gonna help me with the early kills. Here you go. Chad needed more epic kazoo. Old fever, but there's almost uh, only had more weapons. I mean, I'll take the free coins, but I'm not gonna be killing very quickly. I need like one level up. Oh, curse trolled me. Well, there's bracer. We also have knight sword, which I have no idea how to level. That'll be fun. That'll be something I have to learn on the fly at some point. And remember, Chad. In theory, every weapon should have a counterpart. Oh, I remember what the Greed Mask actually leveled. Oh, I interrupted the kazoo. Armor for Rune Tracer would be useful. I think the mask combines with the cats. I remember there's this weird eye thing. I'm like vaguely recalling some combos. So unless there's new accessory, I'm going to try like the Cursed Skull and Greed Mask if they come up with Night Sword. There's floor chicken I left behind. I mean, the ricochet's doing some big damage. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. As you can hear, Chad has selected the song. <laughs> Hope you were enjoying Kazoo. Oh, I'm so close to the leveling game, please. There we go. What is this music? It's something. It's Forest of the Kazoo, or something like that. Or Kazoo of the Forest. Chat needs more epic kazoo. Oh. Might actually be useful. Thank you for light sources. Need fire breathing. Oh boy. I mean, I'm definitely just gonna tank that. Time stop. So huge here. Duplicator. Oh my gosh, please. Be merciful, chat. I might go for Iron Blue Will since we have knives. Well, that would probably be the next card that I pick. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, three rune tracers and a screen full of bats is so big for us. There you go. Chat can do whatever they want now. 
I mean, it's literally like a 33% increase in damage. Unfortunately, the next wave, I was not prepared. I definitely need to level if I can. The curse is actually kind of scary strong. Fortunately, chat gave me some armor. If that was on anything else, I think that would have killed me. So it does make forest a little more exciting. Uh, we're going to level up a little, and then I'm going to move on. Let's get to at least three minutes of power-ups. Speaking of which... So yeah, we saw Bone for the first time, which was interesting. We've only seen it so far, I think, in the GIFs. Where projectiles is nice. If we get, like, a duration up, that improves Rune Tracer. Interesting. Lightning Ring. We could get the thing that pairs with Duplicator or level Duplicator. Honestly, all three of these choices are pretty good. Oh, checking the Lightning Ring? Oh, that's actually huge. Uh, I'm not leveling as fast, so I think I could start moving. Ooh, wing of, Ring of Chicken. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the Mystery character. I think I also need to pick up all Relics. There are certain things where, like, they're not marked on the map and there's hidden things. Like, I think in the Bone Zone, for example, I think there is another hidden item there, and we'll revisit that at some point. But it requires me going, like, a direction long enough. It's kind of like Tower, where Tower, if you go down far enough, there's a hidden character. I think Bone Zone is the same thing. Yeah, we'll revisit each of the areas. Build up our cards. So I think spinach is guaranteed. I will get the curse at some point. Yeah. Uh, if I remember from the beta, I followed like a coin trail, but I don't remember what triggers it. I'm assuming I just have to pick up items and I'll find it. Oh, that's a lot of, uh, oh. Oh, they're the bad ones. Oh, I don't want to go near that. I wonder for longer bounces. We don't have anything else that really benefits from Spellbinder. Like, we're not using Bible or anything else. Cross is also interesting. Twin Trace are pretty safe choice. Right, more AoE is good. I'm going for the hidden character, and then we'll go for some item pickups. As long as by, like, 15 minutes I have most of my items, I should be good. I think chat gave me a good start here. Even if something terrible happens, like Flower Wall, I think it's probably okay. <laughs> well, there's the Drowner. Too bad I don't have the uh, Pentagram. Oh boy, the Curse Increase. Did some serious damage to me. Alright, we're gonna take a moment to level here. There's the Stone Mask if I want to try something later. Otherwise, dupe's good. Welcome, Project Omega. Hope you're doing well. How terrible are crabs? Uh, I'll probably die. Crabs are definitely run-enders. Drowner? I don't know if it is a run-ender or not. It might stop me from getting items until I pe get Pentagram. Drowner, I think there's at least counterplay. I don't think there's counterplay to crab. I think it just died a crab. I eventually want Drowner for that hidden character that I, like, literally remembered as I was starting up the session today. There's the flower wall that I could just walk out of. That was convenient. Bye, flower wall. Don't care about you. Yeah, Chris makes them kind of annoying to kill.
I can't wait for us to actually get like Arcana or crits. I think either of those would be huge. Grab some experience. I killed an enemy off screen, which is awkward. How oh, is that the only experience that I grabbed? That feels wrong. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I was like, get out of here. I left like a whole screen's worth. I'm like, how is that even possible? Okay, that makes more sense now. That checks out. Oh, here comes the level ups. Yeah, it was so far off screen. I'll go back for the chest. I might just go for all the pickups here. See how it goes from there. There we go. Chat feeding me experience. Wind Tracer are almost maxed. Luck boost. That'll be fun later. Empty Tome. Hmm. We have Rune Tracer Max, Knife Level Up, Cross Switch might be okay with crits. I'm not opposed to any of this, honestly. Whatever chat feels. Right, I'll try to grab a level up soon. From an elite. So, so far, no Pichone for chat. Pichone is lied to chat. Uh, I'm probably going to get Hollow Heart, and also I'm probably going to get the health regen for chat wondering what items I'm going for. Just because they're on the map. But that makes any decisions for you later. I will just state that up front. So six, about the seven minute mark, we'll get the secret character. Then I'm going to get Curse Up, Hollow Heart, Life Regen. If we get more accessories beyond that, it's nice. Uh-oh, curse. <laughs> Uh-oh, curse. <laughs> the curse actually is kind of annoying right now. I don't have enough DPS. I'm regretting not picking up that spinach earlier. Let's go over here so I don't just instantly get die, die to curse. Some food for later. Let's try to level. The chat will get to pick my song after this. Alright, more damage is good. So the faster attack speed is helping with the Rune Tracer. Okay, I'm gonna take the Attract Orb. This should level me. Yeah, armor is gonna help given that I randomly curse. I felt it was only fair we try a new card rather than just ignore it the whole time. Oh, this could be huge for us if this allows for an upgrade. <laughs> the curse spats were, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to pick up both. Damn you, Magnets. Magnet actually trolling. I'm assuming this will let me upgrade. Oh boy. We'll let it play out for chat. Not enough money for chat. How... D does does it not level up my weapons? Wait. <laughs> Wait, how did that not level up Room Tracer? Or Knife? What was that? <laughs> I'm getting cheated. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> whatever game. Seven minute mark, no upgrades, get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, they have different evolve timers on different stages. It's unfortunate. So sad. Alright, so who do we unlock? Okay, so who is this character? Pug 
Ragnala Pravala. Oh, that is the uh, Bayonetta character. I kind of like playing that character. She is like scaling might, if I remember. She she could probably very easily solo the tower if we play her. But I want to beat the characters in order at this point. One of these characters should give us something really fun for chat. I don't remember which one it is offhand, though. Also, that's a lot of items. Oh, Attractor, that's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I kind of want that. Level me up real quick. Oh, there's Ebony Wings. Chat's beloved. Half, half of the true pair for chat. <laughs> Chat goes Pachone mad. Okay. I'm gonna make my way over to the chest. Maybe I'll pick up a spinach. Yeah, we'll do something like that. I'm gonna kill a couple things and then I'm gonna hit the attract orb. I think it just makes more sense to clear a little bit before picking it up. Do you know what I mean? A lot of enemies. In fact, I might greed and let it go to curse or something. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah, you can see when the curse kicks in, right, chat? You can just tell. All right. Now that the XP up is here, I'm going to go pick it up. That was big brain, chat. I waited for the XP up. Multiply our bonuses. Well, I am guaranteed to pick up spinach, so if chat wants to fire on me, that's up to you. I'm letting you know. I'm heading towards the spinach now. Trona's box was interesting. Crown makes sense for pentagram. I don't know if it makes sense for this run. Another spellbinder, but no Bible. You know where all your levels are going now? Yeah, pretty much. No box. So, as I said before, I should get Pomerala. I'm gonna get the Skull. I'm gonna get Spinach. So I have three accessories I will pick up. I'm gonna pick them up before the 20 minute mark, so I have to, I have to actually get going. If I wanna catch that in time. Also, it is kinda sad. We have all these actually max weapons. Like, you're actually gonna level Ebony Wings to max. That is so sad. I have to go for the chest, I think. I don't, I don't want the money to go to waste. I, I still need money at this point in the playthrough. I'll take that food. Well, there's a gold fever. Or gold rot. Yeah, gold fever. Get a little extra cash. Not a lot, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I found it after we killed... Or it got through that other wave. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Hmm, just money up from that. Don't care about that. Alright, let's see what this gives us. Wow, we actually leveled Pachone or uh, Ebony Wings, excuse me. Pachone's brother slash sister. I might as well just kill this thing. Triple level up. I don't even know what that's going to do for us. Other than give us a lot of money. Oh, never mind. It was more than that. Well, anyway, Chan, I think we're unlocking a couple characters. <laughs> I actually physically... I actually physically have nothing else to level. That is so sad. So, chat, you're going to be... You're going to be forced to pick something soon. That is so sad. 
I guess I'll go pick up the spinach now. So we'll do spinach. Hollow heart, curse, healing? Should be able to do that. And if chat wants to give me another accessory, you're gonna get like a small opportunity. But not a big one. I get the luck boost. So if chat wants to give me anything else, this is this is your opportunity. Trona's box is very fun though, I'm not gonna lie. Projectile speed, duration, might, area. That's all Pichone buffs, chat. I don't even think the curse matters. We're in the beginning area. Ooh. Can I kill you for an upgrade? That would be huge. There we go. Big difference. So every time I take damage, Rune Tracer will do more. So I do need to get hit on purpose every now and then. Just to increase my damage. Yeah, like that doesn't matter. That might level me here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Pichone! There you go, chat! You held off. You were rewarded again. Choni is here. So, our final weapon will probably be between, like, Whip, Bible, etc. Fire Wand. <laughs> is it even a question what chat is gonna give me? I don't think it is. Anyway, Hollow Heart, Health Regen. Let's see where it goes from there. Oh, there's another Gold Fever. At least I have a good weapon for clears now. Yeah, we're... There we go. Pichone achieving max potential. Oh boy, that is gonna be... Oh my gosh. Chat, you broke my money total. Chat, no. Chat, no! Oh no! Look how much money chat's giving me! Oh no! The skeleton swarm was, um... I think the right call, chat. That was the, that was the right call. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm affording like four characters after this. Oh no, more Pichone. The best part is, I know there's a, uh... I was gonna say, I know there's items over here I could just take. Our money total is insane right now. Uh-oh, Pachone is achieving true potential. We actually just need to fight more bosses. This is the first time, I think, in the entire CC where I actually have more than one weapon pending an upgrade. Where was the Attract Orb in this chaos? Oh, I want this. Okay, Arcana time. Heart of Fire, Waltz of Pearls. I actually don't have any of these weapons. Minute of Lightning Ring. I guess if it's between these, I take the one with Lightning Ring. I was hoping to get Iron Will here, but whatever. I at least have Lightning Ring. Also, my money total right now is bonkers. Chad has broken my money total. I don't think I'm normally supposed to get this much. And the fact that I even have the thing with greed is kind of funny. I mean, I wasn't going to stay around here, but like, why would I leave when I'm in a gold fever? If I really need to check the items later, I'll do it on a different run. Actually busted. Look at this. With the curse, it just makes a, it just gives me more money. Okay, finally we're off, so now I have a reason to leave. Oh wait, there's another gold fever. Wait, how is there another gold fever? Game please. I guess that's my luck bonus kicking in from Chack Luck Boost plus the Arcana.
Oh boy. So I think no matter what, I'm gonna overflow in accessories. I'm actually gonna cap another weapon. Holy. Well, I guess I'm ready for later. Let's see, Knight Sword would be new. I don't know what combos with that yet. Fire One, we know combos with Spinach. Hollow Heart, I'm gonna get at some point. Toronto's box is funny. Do whatever you feel in your heart, chat. I don't think we could really go wrong at this point. At least I have an upgraded weapon. I'm trying to pause to see the item and then the game pauses. Wow, 10,000. I mean, I don't need that much to cap my character stats, so the rest will just go towards new characters. It's all up to you, chat. You get to choose how I get there. We're going to have Torona's box cap at this point. We're at 12 minutes. We barely have any weapon upgrades. It's so sad. Oh, level one forest. This is why I do library over you. So you have another chance at a final item. Which hat does here, though. We have Whip, which does go with Hollow Heart. Crown, which in theory, if we did get Pentagram, would be disgusting. But I don't think we'll do that with our build. Oh boy. <laughs> I can already see them moving super fast. Congratulations, chat. You've maxed the box. I could be in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's the Greed Mask that might go with Sword or the Cursed Skull. Because those are the items that I feel like go with items that don't really have synergies normally. I could be wrong, though. Oh, boy. Uh... Let's see if I survive, Chad. I might not at this rate. A fully maxed out box? I think this is GG. 127% curse with only one evolved weapon? That's kind of bad. I think we're in big trouble here, to be honest. There's Stone Mask. I'm, I have to go for Spinach here. We're just not doing enough damage to them. There it is. Yeah, 10% extra damage is good. I'm gonna go... I guess Hollow Heart, Skull, Regen? Also trying to get the items. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please give me a weapon upgrade. I need it so badly. Okay, that's good. Like, we, we need this, because this is getting a little... A little bonkers with how fast they're moving. The amount of defensive upgrade potential, but I still have more damage to potentially get. Knight Sword, I think, will let me heal on occasion. I think that's how it's set up. It has a crit or a luck base chance to give me healing. Though, technically, Chad, to give me a slightly defensive option. Technically. Yeah, that final box upgrade is gone bonkers. I mean, our weapon speed is at 145%, which is hilarious, by the way. So I think every time I get struck, it'll be very aggressive. Which I guess is good, because I'm probably going to get hit pretty often here. Track Orb is actually huge here. Uh, I'm going to clear out the area a little bit, and then we're going to move on. I think at the 15 minute mark, I should get to the other item. Uh, spinach will definitely help keep up with the curse because they're gonna have so much health it's keeping Pachone relevant rebel, or relevant I could talk today for XP that's fair let's try to leave so 10,000 coins is a pretty good consolation prize to be honest I'll take that some of our early clears we barely got like 5k and with all these greed stacks I think I'm good Oh my god, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
I don't think I could survive another one of those. That is too intense. I think Chad has ended the run, to be honest. I would need like a miracle upgrade to save me here. Uh -oh. We may be in trouble. Yeah, keep in mind, Chad, I have the thing where curse spikes every now and then. If that happens again, it's GG. I don't think I could survive that. Even with our upgrades. Oh man, that is brutal. I really need like another upgrade from a monster, but we're not getting one. Why do I keep getting money from lanterns? I need healing. Oh, flame breath, save me. Do the dance, do the dance, do the dance. Oh my gosh, get off of me. I need an upgrade so bad. Oh, there's food. Okay, I can make it to food. Holy. They're hurting me through 8 armor. That's crazy. That curse rating is so high right now. So I'm hoping to get an attract orb. And then I think we'll be fine. And or a mini boss kill. Oh, mini boss dead. Pachone? Oh. I mean, it kind of is, but kind of isn't. That will help a little bit. There's the attract orb I was looking for. Yeah, if we get another weapon, I might be okay. Maybe. But we gotta we gotta get our way up there for sure. Chat went, Chat went mad with power. They wanted to punish me with the box. They're like, we're, we're, we're through playing around, Parrish. We see you get like 140. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we get like almost literally 47% curse when that activates. So in a weird way, the XP up is just going to kill me faster because that'll make me level more for the curse. <laughs> oh no. You fought Oni? I could deal with this? I don't know about that. At least this thing's area of effect might matter if I get surrounded. So this having a bigger AoE, I think I'm okay with. I don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to get to the health regen. I should be able to get to the max health, though. That is a lot of level ups, though. I guess if it all goes towards weapon, that's fine. We just need another boss kill. I was hoping we would combine combine Pichone, but unfortunately we got bad luck there. Wow, chat actually gonna max another weapon. Which again, I'm not sure what it combines with. Hopefully it's either Stone Mask or Cursed Skull. We should be picking up hopefully both before I die. Wow, chat actually out of things to upgrade. I think it was upgrading in pickup order. Kind of. I like how I rearranged the items, though. <laughs> I'm, actu I'm actually going to max without having another item. Wow, I can't believe I hit max build already. We're not even at 15 minutes. This normally would have been like the end kind of silly well you did it chat um there's nothing more to max until i pick something up i'm so dead by the way as soon as this wears off i think it's gg oh healing this a floor chicken actually helpful here oh my gosh Chad might have to just always floor chicken me. I don't think I could take the always big coin bag. I think I'd just die if that happens. Just straight up. Oh, okay. Okay, the retaliatory sword seems to be working a little bit. I am noticing they die very quick if I get hit.
but I'm clearly not able to keep them at bay, which is a little painful. Oh, I got further breathing on top of that. Interesting. Oh, any boss? Oh no, so much damage. Spin, spin, spin. Chone should level here. Okay, got another weapon potentially. The chat gets to choose what to do, I guess. Spin, spin. Yeah, without fire breathing, I just don't think I don't think it could survive 200 percent curse. Oh no, it's so much damage that I take there. There's other healing thing. If we get really lucky and always get food, maybe I'll be fine. All right, there we go. That's okay. Luck bonus kicking in. That helps. So I have some food on my way out, I think. So if I need to panic survive, I should be able to do this. We'll see what chat chooses here. Most of these are interesting options. Uh, big damage, huh? I'm about to take big damage for sure. There's no way. I mean, the retaliatory damage seems to be working on the plus side. That wasn't totally awful. Oh, I'm dead. The curse was too strong. I get one revive, though. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Chat dumpstered me. This is what happens when I choose a curse power up. Chat absolutely destroys me. Holy. I have to try this stage again. Wow, I, even with eight armor, I can't last more than a second. <laughs> yeah, maxing the box early was brutal. GG. Uh, I have like one healing thing. Maybe I can reach it in time. Just keep in, down keep in mind, we don't have the cooldown passive, too. So our damage is not as high as you think it should be. Rip cooldown, too. Pretty much as soon as it goes to curse again, I'm dead. I, I, I can't survive 140% curse. That's too high. I can pick this up, though. Rest in peace, world. Yeah, it's... I'm kind of over. Maybe I could survive? No. Too much. Chat too strong. Chat refusing to let me win with this character. So sad. <laughs> what is this one? Find and open a coffin in Mad Far. So that's fine. We still have to actually win Damn. something with this character. Damn. Chat realizes this, right? That was the other thing we were going for. Alright, let's change the song. Hopefully this time I won't get stuck like I did earlier. That one's kind of a nice song, actually. Alright, so this time... This is a chance to have a chance to freeze enemies. Oh. I get to play the game? Okay, this will help. I'm just going to go for the accessories this time. But what if I had Skull as well? Chat didn't let me get to see. I got murdered brutally by Box Curse. Alright, so we're going to hopefully clear a stage with this character, and then I will never use this character again. I do not like Rune Tracer that much, to be honest. I think it just fires too slowly, and the fact that it's inconsistent with where it aims. Like, I'm trying to hit that one lantern, and I just can't. It's painful. Okay, we got money for later. I guess I could have technically upgraded to get slightly more health. You would just pop the torches, game please. I try to manipulate the... Oh, it didn't last long enough for me to bounce it. That's so rude. 
You know, I actually calculated the angle and everything. I feel like I just got trolled. Yeah, I just think Rune Tracer is probably like low mid tier. I just don't think it really competes with like Magic Wand, Fire Wand, Axe with a, a similar Arcana with them. Like this one, at least maybe I'll get a chance to do something. I'm going to use this more as a defensive tool than a clear. I kind of wish they would swarm me so I could get faster XP. But at the same time, I don't have the ability to actually kill them. Yeah, this is where, like, if a Friar Breathing spawns, I'll be like, okay, mercy, I'm out of his low levels. Right, so I'm almost there. Let's go pick this up. Alright, let's actually try to level. Oh, did chat give me a Fire Breathing? Let's find out. I mean, listen, Rune Tracer back in... Oh, there's Pachone. Rune Tracer bouncing between two small parts is, like, the only fun part of using Rune Tracer. It's very gimmicky. Like, it works in library okay. I don't mind staying here for a little bit. I'm going to be moving forward after this. So, fortunately, we should not be at 131% curse. I should be good. The skull should not be that bad. Okay, leveling Rune Tracer, probably for the best. More Pachone, Whip, Rune Tracer. Yeah, I'm trying to think, well, how would I even have survived the other one? I think I would have needed Whip for healing, and then Laurel. I probably would have been fine in the same scenario. But without the ability to, like, constantly health regen, I think it was over. Oh, that's right, chat picked me up Garlic. It's not bad for early clears. And again, if we do pick up something like Knives or Axes, that just push them back a little bit. Yeah, this will help with the early level ups. Thank you, chat. I'll go pick up the skull. We'll see where it goes from there. <laughs> this character will finally break the curse of dying before they get to do anything. Oh, a candy box. That's interesting. Candy Box also probably would have saved the other run, to be honest. Because I would have just picked a Laurel. Okay. Um... You know what? I'll do this for chat. Chat, this is for you. That's for you, chat. Yeah, I could have waited and picked that up later. But I'm like, I'll do it for chat. Well, there's axes is kind of fun. Yeah, hopefully we could get Iron Will this time. Not getting Iron Will also. I, I think our other build with Iron Will would have been fine, because getting bounces on knives would have been kind of sick. Whatever, I'll ignore that enemy for now. It This is kind of a weird level where I feel like there's not a lot of level ups. So having like a moderate amount of curse I think is completely fine. Because like, see how sparse the enemies are here? I, this is where a curse does not bother me. It's when we start getting at like the 15 minute mark. Where it's like, hmm. Let's see where it goes from there. So we have at least Axe potentially to push away for late game. So Axe Garlic is pretty good defensively. We have Rune Tracer also in the defensive. Where is the skull? There it is. So they should come to me a little quicker for leveling. Now we just need like an attractor. This will help. 
Oh, nothing but weapon upgrades? Okay, I'll take that. Fire breathing also helps. Thank you, John. I'm gonna go for the clover and then the health regen. Yeah, I think the problem with this character is just Rune Tracer just kind of, eh. Like, pretty much as soon as you get another Arcana, it, there's, like, no reason to use it. So this will probably be the only time you see me use the Freeze one. Which I guess in theory helps with, uh, death, I suppose. Hmm. I might sweep around to the spinach last. Now that I'm not going for the bonus character, this should be a little easier. Come on, random attract orb. Get the coins. Oh, money. Rosary. A rosary when surrounded by the wall. That was good timing. Thank you, Chan. I will right, we'll just go pick this up. Okay, more axe is fun. The urge to crab. When we have Laurel, you, you could definitely just crab your brains out. <laughs> I think uh, uh, that's the counterplay to crab. Have Laurel or Clock Lancet. Clock Lancet would, would probably also be fine. I could maybe play around in crab. Long game. Why are there two Polter roulettes? What is that? Game, please. There are so many options you could give. Right, so we're quite away from the Lucky Clover. on interesting item nope yeah like what is this <laughs> there's no enemies to fight this is so sad compared to like the skeleton swarms where there was like an amazing amount of things spawn thanks to chat that was a very sad gold fever i'm not gonna lie we got a whole six chat Yeah, like, while there's not really much spawning, I think it just makes sense to keep moving. Free passive. Interesting. Depending on what it is, I might hold off on picking it up. Man, we are so far away from the Lucky Clover. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying. I definitely underestimated how far apart these were. Even with the small movement speed boost, which I think I have, right? Yeah, I do. Not all that fast. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick that up anyway. Might as well pick that up now. Come on, Lucky Clover. Oh, yeah, I'll take those bat swarms. A little bit of an injection of experience. Give Chad a chance to level up. But there's the tome finally. Ooh, magic wand. Interesting choice. Get rid of these. These uh Okay, if I can get the thing where I get bounces, I think I have to choose which one it applies to, which is a bit sad. Magic Wand also freezes, true. Actually, is there a way to check it? 
Maybe. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna turn show guides on so I can find it a bit easier. Pick this up. I had a feeling there was something I was missing in the map section. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Now it should be easier for me to find those things. Because I'm like, wait a minute. I don't remember having to do this in the beta. I forgot you had to turn that on. It's not on by default. But at least we learned eventually. And I didn't need to be told about it. <laughs> I remember it at some point. So we got Clover. That could be a future cross thing. Or it could just go for crits. We'll see what happens. And Halabra for Axe is interesting. We're not going to get many other choices. So the odds of getting a cooldown tome before I get the health up are pretty... Actually, no, we're fine with that, I guess, for now. Alright, level up weapon a bit more. Ooh, chat got so lucky Empty Tome was there. I was going to say, we're running out of options. Because I'm going to go pick up the uh, spinach at some point. That's actually huge. That is a big survivability boost. Okay, so at least I can still moderately level while moving. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, I should be able to afford, like, four more characters at this rate. Not too bad. And I know I really like the gun character a lot because she was, like, the starting character. So when she hits, like, 140, she gets, like, 140% might, which means that you could go for the crazier combos. And with CC, potentially her having multiple weapons is gross. And her weapons, I think, also combine, too, because she starts with two... I forget, do the pistols need wings to merge? Because she has the red and the blue gun. Unlocking that will be fun. It's not very high damage outside of her character, but on that character, it's kind of fun. Another free passive. Interesting. It's Tiramisu. Thank you. Or Jisoo. That's right, because they didn't spell it with... The M for some reason. I'm gonna get the free level up there. There should be subtly leveling here. There's the attractor word that I'm looking for. There's the free passive. Thank you, chat. I mean, bracer up when we have projectiles is pretty good. We have three projectiles, essentially, that matter for it. Yeah, the, the magic wand freeze plus garlic is hilarious. Not gonna lie. Uh, just double coins. Disappointing. You have to be getting very close. Oh, I left the chest behind. That's annoying. Gotta go back for that. Wind Tracer being slightly better is fine. Chene getting closer to maxing. See, this is a very different level up. So we can see the difference that the other Arcana gave us, where I just ended up with like 5 million experience. The downside is that curse is really brutal on a character with not really great scaling. Not to say that we can't have characters without great scaling. But in that particular instance, we did not. That is a lot of XP trying to find me. There we go. 
Ooh, I also noticed we have no armor. Hmm. That's kind of rough for Rune Tracer. Rip Rune Tracer chat. Literally never upgrading. Brutal. Such is life, I suppose. I mean, I have the freeze stuff. I'm probably going to be fine defensively. This Rune Tracer will be not in this playthrough. Unless we get free passive and get lucky, I guess. To be fair, leveling up the bouncing ball, not high on my priority list. It's okay when it becomes the other thing. Like, if it's between getting, like, axe upgrade or, like, even garlic upgrade, I still don't think I would take the rune tracer upgrade, to be honest. Be like, eh. If I happen to have armor, it's nice. Ooh, light sources just as I get swarmed. That is such a timely fire breathing from chat. Thank you, chat. Do I have anything that I can level? No. See, this is where the, if we had the gold fever, this is where the game would freak out for sure. Chone Max. Fireball! Fireball indeed. I think for some items, I've just learned to not care about their evolutions. Like, we just go for the broken ones. It'll be fine. That is good XP. This is the so curse power. actually kind of important here. We're getting an opportunity to level a bit more. <laughs> Root Chaser could max, but there's no point to it. Might have to come back for the chests. I want to make sure I grab that uh, health up. That might be important for unlocking the other character. Well, there's another Arcana somewhere in this horrible mess. Let me go over here real quick. See what we can pick up. Alright, what are our choices? Heart of Fire. I like how there's like another Pachone thing there. Three bounces on wand. <laughs> I could Wicked Season if I wanted to. Uh, I probably just want bounces. Still no Iron Will again. That's a little disappointing. Yeah, there's one other thing we can unlock to get another bird, but we don't have it yet. We'll, we'll get it pretty soon, though. If we play the characters more or less in order, we should get it, if I remember, pretty early on. I'll go for the bounces here. I was kind of hoping for Iron Will again, but we didn't get it again for some reason. This is where I wish I could turn off cards to not appear in the pool. Kind of like how you banish when you get like too many weapons later on. I wish we had that equivalency for cards. So, like, your starting one is guaranteed, but then after that, it's kind of, eh. Oh, actually, if chat manages to level Ebony Wings all the way, we will get another weapon. <laughs> chat getting trolled. One level away, and the game's like, nah, you wanted to level Candelabra or Pomerola, right? <laughs> what a troll. I would like this level up before continuing. I'll just try to level up here. Hopefully we could get the thing. There we go. Now I could go pick up that chest. And give Chad another weapon choice. There we go. We're in, it. We're in the, the philosophy of hold forward and win. Free passive. Oh, to check it be spinach. Ah, right. That saves me a trip. Well, there's Night Sword again. <laughs> in theory, we could try, but I, as I said before, I don't know what levels it currently. We can potentially start ruling things out for it. Oh, rip Night Sword. I think I see fire breathing there, which I'll ignore for now. Eh, I changed my mind, actually. 
might not come back this way. Ooh, just a regular luck up clover? Uh, I'll take that. Anything worth leveling? Not really. I might just collect this chest now. Hello, bat swarms. Might level me. Thank you, Chan. to see if anything changed on the screen. Pichoni makes it a little hard to see sometimes. I don't think anything new happened. Let's just go for the spinach now. Move a little bit more. With our luck bonus, we should be getting items fairly frequently over just single coins. Oh, is that a free dupe? Wow, that is a very strong free passive. I think chat can agree. That was uh, a big increase in our damage. I would definitely like that attractor. There we go. Yeah, that was a super good draw. Now if I get another chest, we can upgrade Axe. things to upgrade from chat. I have two things I could upgrade once I get another treasure. Projectile speed up with axes is a nice combo. At this point, I just need experience. Our axes are doing really high damage. Oh, I missed the chest. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I killed something off screen again. I mean, no matter what, this is an upgrade. Perfect. Now we have the perfect get off me. 
But combined with freeze, I think we'll be fine. We're at the point I could think I could survive a crab fest. I think so. We have enough freeze and a knockback. It's kind of an important combination of things. Ooh. I'm gonna hold still. Now I'm gonna pick up that uh, XP up, I think, for sure. Yeah, the thing with Iron Blue Will is that I think it doubles crit damage. Oh no, that's Slash. But either way, let's go pick this up. This should be big for us. Yeah, I think once we ma maybe we have to max the Heart and Skull for something to happen. Which will happen at some point before the end of the countdown, at least. Oh, there we go. Vandalier can still level. We're getting there eventually. Are like almost at a point where I can level up via chess. There we go. Just need more levels. The waves are just kind of mediocre at the moment. Eventually we should start making red gems by just leaving screen long enough. A lot of health. Trying to get tankier. Might be a problem. Oh, no. With garlic magic wand, we're fine. Never mind. Disregard. Oh. Ooh, that was straight bullying. Holy. Oh, is he any frozen? He doesn't get any knockback. That's actually huge for us. That's right. Um. Yeah, I probably will do for the wand here. That'll be big for our damage. Also, also we'll go back for the other upgrade. I realize we're not quite at garlic potential yet. Yeah, I'm still seeing huge gaps in our attacks. A couple level ups should fix that. Oh, I killed it near the chicken bonanza? I didn't even notice. There we go. So, whenever I take damage and start needing to heal, it should be big. If I can even reach them. I actually do want to get hit. Because healing makes it stronger. But right now it just causes a death aura. That poor Ecto Swarm got actually deleted. Yeah, like, I, I do like the upgrade for Garlic. There's one where it's, like, you have, like, nearly infinite area, which is huge. There was an Attractor. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I saw something. Go pick this up real quick. Lots of upgrade choices for chat. Yeah, Laurel for survival means we'll probably be fine, especially with all these other things. Big level up time. There's a red gem that's going to level me. Another free passive? Wow. <laughs> it would be funny if it was armor, I'm not going to lie. That, that would be the greatest comeback of all time for uh, Rune Tracer. <laughs> but I'd still probably rather prefer any other passive. Honestly, we're almost at the point where I'm kind of considering Skull of Maniac. The spawn speed is not good enough. When See, like, we're kind of in that weird in-between where, like, 170% is too much, but 10% is too low. <laughs> we, we, we got some wiggle room with it, I think. Oh, if I get the P Pamadora's box, that would be funny. I'm not going to lie, that would actually be really funny. I want to avoid that attractor orb, actually. I'm going to pick that up on the way back. You can see how they're, like, we're not fighting anything here. 
If only we had 180% curse. Ugh. Oh, there's a greed mask. I'm sure, I'll pick that up. I almost stepped on that chest because it spawned right in front of me. I I mean, I guess in theory I could I might as well just pick it up. I don't think I'm gonna get another I mean the odds of me getting armor by the end of the playthrough are pretty low. Yeah, I'll just pick it up now. Oh skull leveled, perfect. That means more enemies will be on screen, which is what I want. More enemies, more spawn, more XP. Then I could go back for that attract orb when we're done. Yeah, it's a shame that I'm doing too much damage with the garlic. Because normally being able to uh, take damage is huge to make that thing improve. Because I think it just scales basically forever. To the point where it could just do thousands of damage instantly. But if they can't reach me, I can't upgrade it. Bit of a shame. Yeah, another Attract Orb would be huge. Let's see what happens, though. At least we have one guaranteed on the map. I mean, I'll give them that. They, they tried. Didn't matter. Healing, sure. Hmm, I'm not seeing the bonus character. It's possible crowd control messed it up, though. Because if you get an item that's on the stage, I don't know if that counts. I have to try this later. Right, where was the... Oh, the nearest attractor orb is nowhere near us. That's brutal. Because I, I don't see the thing that's supposed to happen. I'm assuming because I picked it up via crowd control first. It doesn't count it. Unless we max it. So it's possible I need to max Skull and either Clover and or the Heart. And we'll start to see it. Love the Poltergeist, like, slowly sneaking in. They're doing their best. Twin Piles. Alright, we should be able to get a massive surge in experience here. Just need to make sure to kill the bats when they show up. So we have a surprisingly high amount of damage potential still. We haven't capped our defensive potential either. Oh, that was a huge Pachone burst. Oh, if I could just reach this orb, it's going to make such a big difference. Come on, attract orb. Another free passive. No way, is Chat gonna do it? Are we are we gonna see armor? Oh, I just need to reach the attract orb or find one. So right now I don't have to go back and pick anything up. I think that's also the mistake I think some players make. You you don't need to pick up every single gem. In fact, it's better not to do that for the most part. But once I go pick up this attract orb, it's GG. I should get like seven levels or more. Oh, there's Pumbarala. I guess I'll pick it up. There's a big... Oh, can I take damage, finally? Oh, I froze him. No! No, I'm fr No, it's garlic free- <laughs> We're freezing him too quickly. I can't take damage. Oh, no. I'm too defensive. The irony. I tried. That's a lot of money. Chat saw it. I willingly walked into the enemy, but I froze him so I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Magic wand actually trolling. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I mean, I guess that helps. In my defense, he died almost instantly in front of me. I saw him, and then he died. Well, I'm ready for a massive amount of experience. Wow, it's like night and day. I have like half of the money of the other run. Oh, where did that spawn? I don't... Oh, there it is. All right, we have an extra one. Let's go pick this one up now, then. Here come the levels, chat. 
get ready. We have like 12 screens worth of experience. They're gonna come in red gems at some point. The flood arrives. Him hitting level 80 would be huge. Ultra wave, interesting. Another Arcana. Anything fun with our abilities? Wicked Season. Pull down a Garlic. Bounces on Axes. But the problem is, like, we don't need the Bounce anymore because we don't have Knives. Yeah, we, we have such split items. You know what, chat? I'm going to do Wicked Season. It's fine. Let's get punished for our greed. <laughs> this should be interesting. As long as we don't also have the box, I think we'll be okay. And who knows, if I actually take damage, maybe we'll upgrade the other ability. Oh boy, here's the experience. It's catching up. We have so many things to level still. Yeah, if chat could do me a favor, if you see the heart and the skull, could you just max those? Not the hollow heart, but the pomerola. I just want to make sure it's not locked because I, I picked up the other thing via getting pomerola too early. Because I think we picked up the skull legit. I don't think we picked up pomerola legit. So I'm curious if this will do it. There we go. Now you can do whatever. Because I, I think Skull we picked up by ourselves. I just want to rule out that CC did not manipulate something on this map. More cooldown is good. It does make Laurel pop up more often. Could also be Clover, but I don't know. We'll see. We have a few minutes to find the bonus character if it does appear. I think with all these items, we should be fine. Yeah, you can see how much XP I was waiting on. We picked it all up at once when we're ready for it. Oh, another Empty Tome would be huge. Because right now our our signs are not going out too quickly, and there are long Pachone gaps. Rune Tracer being out more often is fine too, I guess. There we go. Big level up time. I think at this point, our our fast weapon speed means that we should basically just annihilate them instantly. The faster the size leave the screen, the faster they respawn. Like that from chat. Wow, we're still leveling up from random gems. That's crazy. There we go. Look at that. Oh, next next thing will be big enemy curse. Let's see how terrible the curse is. I'll remain near the health for now. In case it's truly ab ab abysmal. Okay. That's... I would say, Chad, I don't think that's that bad, right? That's not that bad. I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. That's, like, manageable. They put some in Pachone range. I could potentially power level off of this. I mean, that's totally fine to me. Wicked Season, as long as it's not combined with the box, I think is good. I might even take 10% Curse, just so we could level faster. Ooh. Do I take that thing? I think I do. Or Clover. Clover's almost max. So I even opened it during Clover, but it wasn't good enough. When we get XP up, I'm going to take the Attract Dwarf. 
another chest. Ooh, that damage is so high, chat. Nasty. I still love that we're not even that close to capping out. I think Wicked Season towards the final seven minutes is fine. See the Attractor Orb. Might as well get it while it's XP up. Should be a big level up for us. So I like Wicked Season kind of propelling. Kind of has like an ebb and flow cycle with it, which is more efficient to do. So I might as well just pick it up while we have the XP boost, even if it's not too, too much. Although I guess the more we level, the more it XPs up. <laughs> yeah, it is every time we level it goes up a percent. That's funny. That's efficient. Everything getting near max. Yeah, with max health up and life regen, we should be mostly fine. I did take damage for the first time. That's interesting. We'll have to heal up and make Gar look stronger. Another attractor. I'm going to go and take this, because it should result in me getting more damage on Garlic, which is good. The more I get injured, the stronger it becomes. And I'd rather get injured, like, now than, like, four minutes from now. That's a big increase in our stats. Another heal. This PF is somewhere near me. Just below me. Okay, I can see the curse kicking in a little more, which is good, because when Pachone's up, that's what I want. Pachone and curse are quite a combo. I mean, look at this. It's like we're painting a fence or something. Where the heck is this power up? Oh, let's go this way. There it is. We're going to kill as much as we can, and then I'll go pick this up again. is 112%. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if the skull needs to get maxed, because I'm still not seeing anything. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that XP now. Which is good. Now we have a minimum amount that they'll spawn. As long as we don't level like 120 more times, I think we'll be fine. So let's see. Will this cause something to happen? So we have cooldown reduction, we're going to have Laurel for safety, I have health regen and a lot of bonus health. Should be mostly fine. Another free passive. I can't even tell what's going on, it's like a wall of food near me. There we go. Preparation for the end. The Laurel's not off cooldown very often. We don't get hit very often. But increasing in vulnerability time by 0.2 seconds might make a difference. Spellbinder, huh? I think that works with Pachone. I don't see anything else so far. It's 
like they're getting a little closer with curse but not at a point where i feel threatened this is good enough i keep popping torches but they're not what i want Even with our luck bonus here, we're not seeing anything too, too crazy. I killed a... Killed a creature, apparently. Oops. In our wall of death, I did damage. Nice, the Laurel got stronger. Probably for the best. Man, if we could get like full time Pichone, if it never goes off cooldown, it'd be amazing. Just always Pichone. Because when the Death Laser's out, it's real. That summoning dragons. Somewhere. They're in here somewhere, I promise. Ooh, a time stop with Pichone. That's, like we, that's what we like to call GG. <laughs> right, chat? The sweepers are here. Look at that damage. Hmm. We almost hit level 80. We're making progress there, I suppose. I think this is the most passes we've had, maybe? Would have loved an attractor, but the game is only giving me food ups. I don't super care about. Just gonna go back and forth with the death lasers. Right, that should be enough to level me, I think, if I do this. Almost? Close. Ultra wave? There's the mummies. Yeah, so sadly, I don't think we got the unlock here. We'll have to come back later. Possible crowd control messes it up. Well, there's finally our absorb XP. Oh, well, not a big deal. I'm just happy we finally get to get to 30 minutes with this character at level 80. That way we can mark it as having completed the area. And then I could never use... Th then I could choose to never use this character ever again. We'll probably go to library next. I think I gotta go to the far left. I think for a character. Because we went to the far right last time. If nothing else, we could play it on hyper mode or whatever it's called. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably try hyper mode once at least on the new character. Nice. I respect the always money. Pachone is definitely going to be getting a lot of clears here. Also, I killed another thing off screen again, unintentionally. Whoops. Pachone too strong, apparently. Well, there's an attractor, finally. There's a rosary. Ooh, the Chone damage is real, chat. But I keep seeing health ups, but... Oh, look how many red orbs are dropping now. Uh-oh. I'm going to be leveling nearly constantly now. Yeah, I think with Rune Tracer out and Magic Wand with that other one, we are just kind of shutting down the entire area. 
that's hilarious. Like the little poltergeist trying to hit me. That was cute. I think we got to level 100. That's good. Yeah, we did. There we go. This character put in the work. Look how many red orbs there are, chat. <laughs> I'm basically just walking through the wall. I think I took damage there? A little hard to tell. Just leveled up in their face. That was kind of rude. Almost at 10,000. So, so let it be known, with the other thing unlocked, we ended up with more money. Like, even with this treasure chest, that run that only went to about 18 minutes got more money than this run. That's hilarious. I guess it shows how broken the uh, early Wicked season is for XP. Mixed with that gold fever, which was kind of broken, to be honest. There's so many food drops we've unlocked. The Wicked season definitely works, so that's what I'm looking for. Death is gonna like instantly kill me. More or less. Then we get to revive. I think you get more coins that way, right? Nothing else I might level. Yeah, that's fun. So didn't unlock anything new, which is fun. They only did 12.9 mil. Nice. Love to see it. Now with our power up. Buy this. And make the game tougher, question mark? I could still buy another character. Uh, I should probably get Llama at some point. I'm curious if I should strip, uh, skip straight to the Gunner. The Gunner is really fun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, she is expensive. Hmm. I didn't realize she was gonna be that expensive. Give me a second. Well, that's fine. We'll we'll purchase another character and then work our way up to her. That's fine. As long as we beat the game with every one of these characters. So I think we did Imelda's. I think we have Antonio's, if he had something. I wish I could see which characters we got already. De Niro, we beat. Arca, I think we got his thing, because he gave the fire one. Porta, I think we definitely got. So I guess I just don't have Llama. Llama might be Slash. I wouldn't mind Slash, to be honest. I was just trying to think, because Slash was something we got really early in the demo last time. I guess I could play as Llama. Who gets Curse? Um... Yeah, so we're still missing a relic in Gallo Tower. We'll we'll work our way up there. There's like an A and B side. Do you like that song? Interesting. Sure, she'll be she'll be here she'll be here in spirit with us. Oh, I keep forgetting it doesn't like when I do that. Oh, I could kazoo the chat though. Kazooing the chat is funny. I mean, I should probably hyper bonus this. I did say I was gonna do it. He starts with axe, right? I'm just gonna do iron blue will for real this time. We really need another kill. There we go. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, all projectiles bounce. I figured I'd make it a little more interesting. And we're gonna naturally gain curse. What Bible, huh? Pentagram. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, they're gonna be moving at insane movement speed for sure. 
Hand of Water is also somewhat interesting for later. See what happens. Four axes, I respect that. We do get the bounces. Oh no. Oh no. Chat has to choose between Ebony Wings and the box. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. You have to pick. You can't have both. Oh, chat actually chose the box. Wow, no Ebony Wing. Whoa. Early dupe. Interesting. I mean, that definitely helps with Bible and Axe. Another dupe or a weapon. Still like the physics of the axes. You love it. There we go. Dupe time. Okay, getting those early level ups are crucial. So it's like chat level with Bible and Axe. The enemy is a very strong possibility of just overwhelming me at max curse. I find it kind of interesting. I think as long as we hit level 80 with him, it should be fine. Ooh. We have knives as another projectile. So those bounce. So knife kind of goes from like subpar to like godlike with this combo. Yeah, now we have, like, full screen snipes. Yeah, look at this. Magic. Oh, God, more wings. I think Bible faster might not be bad. Axe leveling is good. Magic one's okay. We're going to get the cooldown tome eventually. Okay, in that case, since chat picked that up, let's just go pick that up now. Don't mind me, just cruising on through. Yeah, bouncy knives plus if we get slash as an arcana. That that is basically GG. Because they can crit and then crits do double damage. It's very, very silly. They could just clear entire rooms without meaning to do anything. On the plus side, if we're in hyper mode, it's very easy to go pick up things that we didn't get before. Look at me cruising, chat. Holding forward. We're doing curse. We need to be strong. Yeah, this character is naturally rising curse, by the way. So his gimmick is that we will get better stats, but the curse is going to go up. It's already at 55%. That's going to get interesting. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I took the box plus curse on the spell area we were at before last time. Fighting the Oni with like 100% curse. I'm like, what kind of nonsense arcana are you wielding to get through that? Well, there's Empty Tone naturally, which is kind of funny. I mean, I'm going to pick that up regardless. That could do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, we'll do Wicked Season just for chat. Oh, that Rosary deleted that whole group. Yeah, we're, we're going to Wicked Season, Curse, uh, all the Oni. I mean, I might as well pick this up. Why, hello there. Instant level up. So more, or less cooldown on Bible, Dagger, Wand, and Axe is a massive upgrade on our DPS. Cat wisely dodging Rune Tracer. Appreciate it. <laughs> Rune Tracer, definitely the troll pick. Oh, Rune Tracer. You're barely usable with Arcana, as opposed to being, like, broken. <laughs> like, other ones, straight up, unbeatable. We still have two more weapons for Chan. I'm assuming Chan's holding off for Pachone. I don't blame Chan. It's still potentially get it. Let's pick this up for free. Yeah, you can see our knives are basically almost always bouncing and killing something now. It's 
<laughs> so we have the box for later, which will be funny. We have the knives. We have more axes. No matter what chat picks here, I think it's useful. We have so many projectiles at this point. You know what? We actually move so fast. I might just go for the greed mask. In hyper mode, it's more doable. Oh, free passive. Um... I don't know if I actually want that, to be honest with you. We might come back for that. We have hyper mode. I don't think that's worth picking up over, like, bracers, for example. So I'd rather not lock out our actually good ones, but we, we'll come back to that. Or we can just fight here until I have enough passives. That's also fair. Alright, dagger level. One more projectile. Oh no. Oh no, chat, it begins. Here it comes. Look at it. They're already nuts, so. There's almost no delay in the daggers right now. Oh my gosh, we could get more cooldown or box. But right now, we have some really strong choices. I think there's a couple of. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, I don't think it really matters what our remaining arcana are. Unless I have Wicked Season, then it matters, I guess. Wow. Now we're already getting axes and stuff like that. But, but chat needs to hold strong for Pachone. Oh, no. Not holding out for Pachone? Ooh. Ooh, save Pachone. I saw somebody hit three. Oh, there's Candy Box. Here's the deal, chat. I will Candy Box in Pachone <laughs> if it shows up. How's that? I will guarantee you will get half of your combo. Ooh, there we go. The hyper mode's kind of fun. L binder, interesting. We don't have a lot of duration ups other than Bible, sadly. I think that's kind of the problem with duration. Most of the other ones just scale really hard off of projectile speed most of the time. Like even Bible scales with it. Uh, Pichone's the bird. Chat loves the bird. The bird combines into the bird bomb. Yeah. Pichone forever for chat. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up for chat. Here you go, chat. You have Pichone. You're welcome. Uh, you do eventually need ebony wings, that's true. But you have time to find it. Whereas you might get locked out of weapon choice. Like, now I'm forcing the game to give you half the combo. That increases the odds of it giving what you want, at least. That's why it keeps trying to give us Spellbinder, because we have Bible. <laughs> like, normally we never see Spellbinder, but because we have Bible, the game is like, please, please use Spellbinder, and we're like, whatever, just give us knives, it's so much better. Oh boy, it's already nuts. Look at the ricochet damage. Then itch, interesting. More Bible. On the plus side, I should be able to level pretty quickly. I'll pick up the health up if we happen to cap on passives. We'll see what happens here. Knives is getting close to capping, which is huge. It passing through one more enemy and bouncing is kind of insane. I mean, this is just straight bullying right now. With duration up and cooldown up, the Bible should be up 100% of the time now. Just make sure to not choose another weapon unless it's up any wing. Unless chat wants to make themselves sad. Then you can pray to the candy box god <laughs> that it drops for you. So it should appear eventually. <laughs> Chat, the game really wants you to pick Spellbinder. 
this is normally this is where i might consider getting banish when we don't care about spellbinder <laughs> it's just gonna randomly be like did you want oh, surely surely you have uh the bible so you must clearly want this at okay, level pachone poor game it's trying so hard to get us get us to evolve <laughs> it's still there it's so, it's so badly wants you to choose it it feels so unloved that's hilarious to me i don't really care if you pick it or not i just find it funny Honestly, Upgraded Bible is also kind of lackluster. It's just that it's going to keep appearing. <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll buy a Banish for chat for if we see Spellbinder again. The true downside of Bible. It's not Bible, it's Spellbinder. Give us Candelabra. It, it, it really wants you to do Spellbinder. It's like, listen, thou shall not complete your item set. Oh, there we go. We could get Bible out of the way. That's one less thing it should put into the pool. Yeah, no Candelabra is also kind of rude. Oh, Chacho's knife there. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Yeah, the, the more you leave those around, the more times you're going to get that over other choices. Although, knife is almost maxed. I guess that's kind of working out. There we go. So many knives, so many ricochets. I mean, they're just getting melted right now. So Bible is officially off the table, so it should improve your odds to see an Ebony Wing now. That is kind of silly we still have not seen Candelabra, though. I'm not going to lie. Really? Chat chose to level the box first. Interesting. I thought for sure chat was going to get rid of that. Because that, that improves your odds of seeing Ebony Wing. And it punishes you for it <laughs> by giving you Bible again. Rip. Oh, poor Chris. Bible's almost out of here, though. Okay, Bible's gone. Chat has pet me. What's her curse rating at? 65? Nice. It went up another 10%. Wow, it still hasn't given Candelabra. That is actually pretty crazy. Good call on chat for pointing that out. That is very silly. We have not seen that yet. <laughs> I, I think chat broke its heart. I didn't see Spellbinder. Chat heartbreaking in real time. All right, so next time we have a chest, I should be able to get one upgrade. Oh, that's true. I wonder if the box actually combines with any of the super weapons. Hmm. More Pachone. If nothing else, we're gonna afford the other character. Okay, this this is getting kind of silly. How has Chat not gotten their choice yet? Ridiculous. We have three weapons cap before we saw it. What tomfoolery. I love that I'm just constantly spewing projectiles. Ooh. I want to see some swarms, this chat. Is the Reaper's power. Swarm me. <laughs> Look at that exploder. It was going in on me, chat. It wanted it wanted the, the business. Out of here. Wah. Wah, indeed. <laughs> Look how fast they are with first. Oh my gosh, the ghost swarms. Look at that. Alright, that should level chat up a little faster. We're still holding out on Ebony Wing. We still haven't seen Candelabra. I'm surprised the game did not spellbinder you again, to be honest. Our luck bonus is okay. We, in theory, we should see it more when luck rises, from what I remember. And or get a chance at another slot. A lot of ghost swarms. 
I mean, that's good. I need to level. Wow, our only choice is Toronto's box. That's that's a big oof on uh, RNG there. Big oof, chat. This might be a problem. We'll see. We're at seven minutes and we've capped multiple weapons. That is kind of hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Pulsar rule let me, chat. I believe in you. If I'm really desperate, I'll go pick up that health up on the floor. To give chat more things to level for Ebony Wing. Wow. Still no Candelabra. That is... That is rough. It's not even a rare item. That's the crazy part, chat. It's not even rare. It's like one of the most common items. Like, knife knife and axe are, like, I think in the upper tiers. Knife for sure it. is definitely there. It. It's not like we're looking for bone or something ridiculous. Ah, uh, there we go. I think that's a boss. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell with the bullying sometimes. Yeah, if unfortunately the game is also not giving you any luck boosts, which I think would also fix the situation that we're in. Come on, game. Wow, still not given the choice. That's crazy. We have four and we still didn't get it. Holy. We need a racer we're playing the knife character. Yeah, that's true. I think, to be fair, when we played knife character, I think we just didn't have racer unlocked. This time, for sure, we have Candelabra unlocked. I don't know why it's not appearing. Damn, we're moving so fast. There's Candelabra. Holy. <laughs> there you go, chat. That should pull one item out of the pool, at least. A magic Wand is also fairly common. I don't think it's on the same tier, though, as Knife. <laughs> Thou will pick Spellbinder. You... <laughs> it really, really wants you to take Spellbinder. <laughs> I, I feel like that's going to keep popping up instead of Ebony Wing. Game's actually trolling hard. Chad actually going to cap our weapons at this rate. So I'm going to have almost five weapons cap before we are allowed a single weapon upgrade. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah, chat's running out of level up, so I might have to go pity take that health regen. Because <laughs> that means Spellbinder will stop appearing if I pick that up. I just prefer not to have that accessory over other options. But if he keeps giving you Spellbinder, I might have to force it. Wow, that's so unlucky. Chat is so unlucky right now. Crazy. I'm actually going to cap my weapons at this rate. Table flip indeed, chat. We're killing so many things that we're just getting red, red gemmed over and over. Oh boy, Torona's box getting interestingly high level. Uh, for some it does, Kirk. If Ebony Wing combines with the with Pachone, it will. Oh, luck boost. Chat wants that. For sure. So, like, right now, none of the weapons will get rid of themselves, except for, like, very specific ones. Pachone is one of them, but the game has refused to give chat what it needs. I think I'm going to be forced to pick up a passive here. If chat doesn't pick up another passive, I think I'm going to take the health up just to make Spellbinder not appear. Because chat is running out of things to level very rapidly. I'll go for one more level up, then I'm going to pick up this chest. So chat might as well as pick whatever they want. 
I'm gonna try to save it. We're gonna ignore Spellbinder. Alright, let's go pick this up. We level Bracer. Unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna... Spellbinder is out of the pool. No more Spellbinder. Let's see if the game behaves itself now. <laughs> So I'm giving you four more chances to find it on top of the 12 or so that you have currently. Actual insanity still will not drop it. Here's your level ups. Brutal. Come on, luck boost. There we go. Let's see if the luck boost matters. I picked up a chest randomly. It should be an upgrade, because it's at the 10-minute mark. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gave you Knight Sword before... Why? How did we get... How did we get Knight Sword over the bird? What? What luck bonus? You're at 90%, please. So now the axes bounce. So we could just see this insanity. So this kind of stuff is why Rune Tracer is irrelevant. <laughs> Chad is wondering why. Like, they pierce, they crit. They have such a big AoE. Oh no, it wants the lightning ring you. No. Check up it betrayed by duplicator. It is trying to match, but not the one that you want. Yeah, bouncing size is very strong. I can also just walk behind them potentially. I'm going to hold still to give Chad a chance to get luck boost again. But we get to see the chaos of this. I mean, they can't approach me at all at this point. Also, I might as well just go for the greed mask. I'll give Chad another chance. Oh no, I accidentally leveled. No, Oh, I got luck up though. There we go, chat. So you're at 130% luck. Will it give you a fourth choice and will it match something that you're missing? Let's find out. So you're as lucky as you could get, I guess. Look at this absolute carnage. Oh, I hit a chest. Which is fine. We got another 1,000 Knive upgrade. I mean, if you max Toronto's box, it's not the end of the world. I at least have really good items on at the moment. You're approaching me, Jotaro, pretty much. Look at this speed. I killed that boss instantly, chat. I, I saw it for like a quarter of a second and then it died. Um, don't care about Magnet. I mean, having Garlic expand with Magnet is funny. I don't think we have any of these items. Uh, I could give Magic Wand a freeze chance. That's hilarious. Sure, why not? I mean, if it's based off a of luck percent, I think we'll be fine. Wow, chat almost gonna max the box. We still don't even see it. Luck bonus, please. So even with the fourth choice, we're not getting a good choice. Another luck boost. Hmm. Yeah, look at Thousand Knives with the projectile speed, how silly this is. I love that I'm trying to outrun our other sides. It's not working. I'm trying, even with even with movement speed, I just can't quite catch up. But I do love that they're always in front of me. So I know anything near me is just instantly dead. More luck bonus. I picked up a chest by accident. I can guarantee you I did not intend to do that, but we have Holy Wand now. I guess that works. See, if I pick up the mask, it gives chat more chances to get Ebony Wing. 
We are pretty close to it. It's refusing to give chat the item. Poor chat. 190% luck game is like, nope. Nothing but troll picks. Ooh, was chat almost leveling the box there? That would have been scary. I mean, it would remove it from the pool, but at what cost? Get rid of these. Probably Swarm here. I don't even think Fire Breathing will reach the enemy. Shooting Star would be funny. I don't think it could even hit me. I'm just moving too quickly. Alright, we should be approaching the uh, Greed Up. Nice. Oof. Game is being mean. Alright, so give a chance. I give chat another four chances to find it. So I'm doing my best to try to give chat what they want. But the game is like, nope. That Ecto Swarm exploded. I picked up a chest by accident. We're, we're killing them literally so fast I can't dodge the boss. <laughs> like, I take a step forward, it's over. Oh no. Oh, the Toronto's box looking a little scary. You know what, chat? Go ahead and do it. <laughs> you get your ebony wing. Oh my gosh. Remove it from the pool, chat. I believe in you. We're about to level up a few times. Curse 100%. Then we'll be at 170 curse. That'll be interesting. How did we get garlic before what? How did we get garlic before the other one? Game, please. Game actually trolling. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, no. Garlic troll chat. I'm so sorry. Garlic's trolling. Oh, no. Okay, getting rid of the heart. I agree with that. You have three yeah. levels up to find this. And then you are going to be forced to be without. But let it be known, I tried really hard to give the uh, ebony wings. This is the most stubborn I have ever seen it before. There it is. Oh my gosh, chat. Match four. Four. Match four. You fought. You, the patience. We literally, I had to pick up bonus items. <laughs> there we go. Holy. Yeah, just, <laughs> nothing but fours. Yeah, there we go. So now we could potentially get another weapon after this, which could be garlic. Garlic would actually be okay. Then they're they're now at 170 curse, which is very silly. But with the power of ebony wings leveling, it might not matter. On the plus side, we should be power leveling out of our minds at some point. I like how big the knives are. I forget what a, I forget what leveled with us. It was 10% curse. Might have been area. I don't remember. Could be might. Our might's looking kind of high. But that could also be the Toronto's box. I mean, these enemies are dying instantly. The damage we're dealing is, like, off the charts. Oh, yeah, Lightning Ring, Garlic. Either of those would be good finishers, I think. I'm not sure if we could take another projectile weapon for the bounces. So many enemies are dying. Look at the kill count. It's already at 30,000. Actually insane. Dude, we have Bibles and Pachone potentially doing constant close damage. And between the knives and the bouncing scythes, I think we have enough AoE clear. We're killing them so fast, red gems are actually legit spawning. Also, if I do this... Yeah, I see another red gem spawn collecting all the XP from earlier. So if I just choose not to move for a little bit, I can build up some red gems off screen. Yeah, I just built another one there. Oh boy, panic time. Um, Well, fortunately I had Bible, or I think I would just die. I think without Bible there, that would have been GG. Ooh, there's a chest. I don't want to pick it up. We got to get Pachone. 
Alright, so I'm spawning some red gems. I can't move due to panic time. Or if I move, I can't move very much. It's still going on, by the way. All those little exploders, the wop wop wops, are the panic times. We've now created like four red gems. Yeah, we are gonna pick up a lot of XP once this actually ends. Why does panic time last for like 40 seconds, by the way? It is so much longer than every other ability in the game. It's kind of insane. Can this please stop? Panic time, please. I would like to pick up XP. I love the screen flashing as I go to pick that up. So I found the rosary. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for using the rosary. Now I can finally get ebony wings. I see the boss near me. It's flashing blue under the chat. I'll go ahead and pick this up. There we go. That boss died instantly. So chat, if chat wants, they could get garlic. Or lightning ring, or... Honestly, there's not many other weapon choices at the moment, given our items. Nothing really matters. Honestly, even Night Sword would be fine if it comes up again. Chat level in Vandalier to max. Yeah, probably the only thing I don't want are Rune Tracer and Pentagram straight up. They would be so dead at our build. The only bad ones, John. Kind of went lightning ring. Yeah, I think it'll happen. It was popping up for a while. The chat has a few levels. They have three more levels of Vandalier to find it and two more of Stone Mass. Vandalier having more uptime is good for me. We're going to need that for the final 10 minutes, I think. There's still a very strong possibility I just get one touched and died with this much enemy speed. Well, oh, there's the lightning ring that chat was looking for. So if you want it, this is probably one of the only times you could grab it. Okay, we got it. Vandalier almost max. That means I have one more upgrade that does make a difference. Bigger death laser. Yeah, this is kind of a risky build. If we did not take Magic Wand slows enemies, I would have said we would have been in trouble. But I think as is, it's okay. Ideally, we're going to get one more interesting Arcana. And definitely if we unlock Slash, it's over. Slash is like one of the things that hard carried us in the early game. So once Lightning Ring caps, we can upgrade that to the next one since we have Duplicator. <laughs> Poor Bible, our only unleveled weapon. Yeah, Bible keeping this nonsense away is kind of important. Okay, four more levels and I can pick up that chest for another upgrade. Yeah, Knife plus Axe Bounce I already think is really good. Plus they crit. Like, our damage potential is already really good with luck boosts. You can see, it just becomes nonsensical. Yeah, we don't have many things that actually buff Bible. I know there are a couple things, I think we just don't have them, sadly. Okay, one more level up, and then we'll be at the other thing. We're doing really well. Now it's just, can I survive 170 curse on hyper mode? <laughs> we're at, we're, all, all movement speed is insanely high. The Bible right now doing what it needs to do and protect me. Magic wand always firing, which helps. 
on. One more solid level up here, hopefully. There we go. The lightning ring will kind of fill in the gap, because we're not hitting the whole screen all at once. Lightning ring will change that. So we're going to be laying out a lot of damage, and we're just going to hope that's good enough to survive. There we go. And upgraded. Thunder loop. Ooh, gold fever. Thank you, chat. With our greed mask, this should be a lot of money. <laughs> or excuse me, stone mask, as in the JoJo part one reference. My bad, chat. We're going to put it on and become a vampire, just like Dio. Except this time we're a money vampire. Which I guess in some ways Dio was at the beginning. That's a lot of money. Anyway, Chad has now unlocked basically all the characters. So a CEO, exactly. Yeah, Chad has basically just purchased like seven characters. That's good. Because at this point, we don't really like need need money. Ooh, definitely always big coin bag. Free yourselves, chat. Spare your keyboards. More money. More money. Wow, 3,000 money just from that one gold fever. Thought it was a greed mess, but it was me, CEO, exactly. Embrace your inner Dio, chat. Oh no. Uh, I hope I could kill the crabs fast enough. Oh no. <laughs> Um, panic daggers in all directions. Panic daggers in all directions. Get off me. The crab fest is here. A couple of them are getting through. I gotta be careful. If they hit me, I think I die almost instantly. Oh, Pachone carrying hard. It. They're still coming. Man, Crab Swarm is brutal. I am so glad we have Bible. I think without Bible, I would be dead right now. Just straight up. I don't think I would survive this. They're so aggressive. That Swarm is like a welcome relief to the Crab. That lasted like a solid 60 seconds. Holy... Well, anyway, we have some character unlocks for later. So if I want to max curse, I can. I think I really do. I did take some big damage. So I gotta be careful. They, they did get through my Bible. So the downside with Bible is that if I'm moving too quickly, I can force them inside. And then they'll hit me. I'll leave a heal item there. I need that later. The magic wand will help a little bit with the end game. So we're gonna we're gonna rest and recover here for a little bit. Knives will make sure that they bounce and hit stuff behind me. Lightning wand is doing mostly what it needs to do and strike twice. Looking for the boss. In a rush. Uh I'm assuming they're here somewhere. Sweeping death laser protects the Bible. Standard words you hear in every day. Conversations, of course. Come here, death laser. If I can move when the death laser is up, I think with... I think other than that, I should wait. Get a uh, fire breathing, actually. Another luck boost. Interesting. Now our damage is just out of control. We could do something like this. So ideally, I want to pop as many candles as I can find. 
Their spawn rate and their items are dictated by what our luck bonus is. They are potentially extremely good. There's a boss. There was a boss. <laughs> right, chat? Past tense. There was a boss. I think luck bonus also influences the chance of getting a uh, candy box upgrade. This, we saw that happen once on stream, and that's when we started getting to like 300% luck. You have to take my word for it. Yeah, the boss was there, allegedly. We're at almost 100,000 kills, which might be an achievement. So we hit over 100, which will probably be another achievement with Curse. We didn't get that already. And we'll have to learn what unlocks with the Knight Sword. Or play the other character that had, like, the healing ability. That could be interesting. I should probably buy the more expensive characters first, if I want to be more efficient with my coin usage. But I think this character will give me Slash, so I don't mind doing this character before the other ones. Oh, Arcana. Hmm. What fun things can we get here? <laughs> Wicked Season? Uh, I don't know about that. Not with this character. If it, if we didn't already have like 40% curse, I would consider it. Do we even benefit from any of these? Heart of Fire doesn't matter. We don't have Garlic. We don't have Laurel. We don't really have healing. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'll pick it up just for chat. We'll do the troll choice. No, they were pretty bad. That's why we need to unlock more, for sure. Better options. Oh, a free passive. Chat might actually have to level me. I think of what it is. So I have two healing things there and a time stop. So if I'm going to get into a fight, I'd rather it be here. Look how fast they're coming in. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, Bible. <laughs> Bible actual MVP right now. We, we were making fun of Bible before. Actually important. Holy, that would have killed me. There's a boss, I think. Maybe not. Oh no, there was. It was there. <laughs> Chat will just have to believe me. Did it... Did it drop an item or just a chest? I don't see what chat dropped if they gave me something. Hmm. It's unfortunate it could scam chat sometimes. Yeah. Unless this is... Oh. Although this... If this ends up being a candy box, this would be very funny. The chat's seeing a new character that they just purchased. So thank you, chat, for unlocking more characters. There we go. That should that should buy like the whole bottom row. That should be fine, right? Just keep in mind character costs. Oh my gosh, character cost skills. In this game, quite heavily. So eventually, we're gonna run out of money. But I don't really need banish or anything else per se. Not yet, anyway. Later on, I will. My luck bonus is at 244%. Actual insanity. Chat might even luck boost that higher. That means we should be critting pretty much all the time. So I think the way it works is, let's say an item has a 20% chance to crit. I think it's getting a... at least 2.9 times multiplier. It might do, like, your base luck at zero is technically a 100 kind of deal. Uh, just more money. That's why Pentagram wasn't guaranteed. I think it doesn't add to it, it just might multiply the base chance. Like, Pentagram has like a 20% chance, I think, of not deleting items by default. So if you have 300% luck, I think that should make it triple. Oh my gosh, this is getting kind of weird. I 
almost a 300% lock. So I have some food down there in case things start to go awry. They might actually get through this, believe it or not. Bible really putting in the work to keep us alive. I'm not going to lie. This is the most work Bible has put in on any session we have ever done. Bible normally doesn't even hit enemies at the end of the game. More healing things. That's good. But it's actually zoning them. Look, like, look how hard it's zoning them from getting in the center. We have magic wand to just kind of dunk on them. Like, eventually they're going to get shoved through the Bible. Hoping the free passive would be Skull. It could have been. Here it comes. Look at this nonsense. Look how angry they are. <laughs> Look at them, like, flying off screen when they get hit. What is that? <laughs> They're, like, so glitchy looking right now. Holy. We gotta survive another five minutes. I'm near some healing. I don't want to move if laser is not up. And when laser's up, we can move. Trying to see if there's other items we can find. There's a rosary. Another healing item. There's a boss. Oh no, the boss really wants me. Oh, the boss might kill me. No, the boss. The boss went through the Bible. I can't survive that. Treasure chest not right now. Bible, please. Oh, the boss can get through. That sucks. Man, I can't do anything about that. The other enemies were fine. The boss just straight up reached me. There's nothing I could do about that. Do we get one more chance? We might die here. I, there's at least some healing still here. Yeah, I have some to, like, run to. I don't want to... Oh, there's a candy box. That might actually be helpful. I might just choose Laurel. If I can survive the candy box, I'm picking Laurel. Because that will guarantee that I live, I think. Whoa, they're getting through. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need something to survive this. Yeah, they're getting in. Hi. Where's Laurel? We need Laurel. There we go. Give me some invincibility, chat. I'm going to need it. <laughs> that should buy some time at least. We have okay health regen, so I could take a couple hits every now and then. Maybe we did need evolve garlic. I It doesn't work on bosses, so that doesn't matter. We would literally only Laurel or Cl Clock Lancet, I think, at this point. With their hyper speed and 179 curse, nothing else will work. We have Magic Wand to freeze them, but even with our luck chance, they're not freezing. Like, come on, 299 luck should have froze them. Sorry. Oh, we're at 300 luck now. Because <laughs> every time we level, the percents go up. So our crit should be out of this world, at least. We're at 180 curse. That'll be fun. We're at 18,000 in cash, so I could probably buy the entire bottom row of secret characters. Another charge, so I could take two or three hits. And I will hopefully activate freeze on Magic Wand. Sadly, it did burn a revive. I'm gonna choose not to move too much, but I need to be nearer to food. Yeah, let's go over here so I'm closer to the food. Alright, that made a big difference. That made a big difference. I'm gonna not move. I'm gonna be near the healing. Pachone gonna be hitting millions of damage at this rate. I don't know if we'll hit... I don't know if we'll hit 100,000 kills anymore, though. We're actually, sadly, not DPSing enough. We needed a better Arcana, definitely, at the end. Like, a uh, Slash. But we don't have that, sadly. Kinda surrounded me with light sources. So that's more healing. I'm still going to choose not to move. I 
do see a treasure chest. I kind of want that, though. I'm going to take this. I was hoping for another candy box. That was a little greedy. I could gold fever, but that requires potentially picking up all that healing. Which I'd prefer not to do. Take some of these, though. Thank you, Charlie, for subscribing. Hope you're doing well. Oh, maybe we will hit 100,000 kills. That I think is an achievement. We're like racing the clock at this point. It's like slowly getting there. Nice rosary from Cha. Yeah, we might be just like a little shy of 100,000, but we're making progress. At least we could say we we tried. Which is pretty good given we didn't have slash or anything. Oh. If this is a candy box, this would be very funny. I mean, that's basically another character by itself again. So if I needed anything unlocked, here we go. I couldn't resist the gold fever. I have a stop clock. I might do that at the end. We're basically affording chat new options later. I have a minute left, and I have an ability to stop time if I need it. I think we got this. But we're not going to hit 100,000 before it ends. We're going to get pretty close, though. To be fair. Welcome, Amazing Elk. Hope you're doing well. We've almost survived. I can barely see what's happening. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the time stop in 10 seconds. And then I think it's our victory lap. We'll see what we could purchase. Oh wait, I got death stuck. Oh, he's time stopped. He's not stuck. Um, does this work? Oh no, he teleports to you. That's unfair. I tried. Can't cheese him this time. We don't have the right item. Almost got him stuck. Reach low. Oh, there we go. We unlocked slash. That's what I was curious about. Survive thirty minutes with Lama Skullomaniac. The Death Spiral did 14.9 million. Vandalier did 12 points. So Vandalier was our second most damaging ability. I'm not surprised Death Spiral did more damage because that item is honestly pretty broken. Yeah, Slash is so good, chat. Um, well, now that we have money, is there anything worth purchasing? Let's see to remove an item from... Uh, I might give chat Banish. I'll give chat the power. How's that, chat? You earned it. Um, like how there's space, dude. Survive 20 minutes in space 54. Involve the silver wind. So some of these just involve leveling up things. Let's get you. Let's buy all the expensive characters. Honestly, I can afford to purchase all of them, which is funny. Do we still have money in case the other people start, like, really scaling up in cost? So why not? 
All right, Chad, I think I earned it. It's time to play as the character that I remember dominating with earlier on. Let's let's choose her. I'm going to skip going to the dairy plant because I, I, I just don't like that stage. Let's go to Gallo Tower. We're going to turn off Hyper. Don't think I really want them in Hyper mode. We'll leave her character theme playing. It's Bayonetta at home time, exactly. Let's start off with this and see what things we could choose with her. So, bouncing with the gun is really strong. Slash is the ultra broken run. So, it enables crits on the base weapons, which is already really, really strong. But then the fact that it, it says doubles overall crit, it's not kidding. So, crits already double, and you double the double, so crits are times four. Though if we're playing thematically, I should probably bullet bounce with Iron Blue Will first. Yeah, I'm not doing Hyper in this area. So we have a Relic to the south and a Hidden Character to the south to go collect. Let's go do so. So as a reminder, I think if we, if we get the Tiramisu or whatever it is... Are you four Banishes? That's funny. If Chad has had enough of them, Chad could just banish things from the, the, the list. So I have a feeling Spellbinder might get banned. Wow. Already got a quadruple choice right off the bat for Chad. So Axes bounce currently. Yeah, there we go. Chad now just improving the damage by a lot. If we get knives, we're basically in business. Ooh, bracer and duplicator? <laughs> Spellbinder, get out of here, Spellbinder. No one picked you. <laughs> or, <laughs> I know. Uh, exactly, if there, was, if there was a thing chat was gonna use Banish on, it was gonna be that Spellbinder. Like, get out of here, Spellbinder, you're not useful. Okay, we can start leveling the gun. So, sadly, I think with Laurel selected, chat has to hold out for uh, Pichone until we get rid of this double gun combo. The duplicator helps. We're going to be a bit low on damage for a while until we get more projectiles. There we go. So we know there's Bracer at the top of the map, but I think without Hyper Mode, I'm very unlikely to reach it again if I go all the way down south. So remember that from the beta of this game. Yeah, there's like, we have to go until the screen goes totally dark. That's how you know we've, we've gone far enough. But we gotta kill a boss. And since we have to kill a boss, there's no sense in rushing there with no upgrades. Knife would have been so good, but that, that requires giving up Pachone. I can't ask chat to do that. It's too painful. Hopefully Tiramisu is unlocked by default. I actually don't know. It might require us to survive and then we get it. There's a couple items like that in this game that does make me disappointed. Where it's like, oh, you hit level 8 with the weapon, now you unlock somebody else's evolution. And I'm like, that would have been nice to have earlier. Yeah, her base damage is going to be out of control based off of level ups, which is nice. Keeps your guns relevant. Yeah, I think we're mostly just looking for Bracer, Cooldown Tone. I think there's other things in there. Nice and simple movement. See, we're forming pretty patterns while making progress. Oh no, a Stalker? I don't have a pentagram for that. That would be GG to the run if that happens. <laughs> I'll be like, you win, chat. I can't beat the Stalker right now. I 
forgot there was a spellbinder on the map. That's actually hilarious. Welcome, Diego. Hopefully you're doing well today. I'm just enjoying some casual vampire survivors. I haven't decided what we're going to play in the evening. Maybe we'll have a discussion in the, in the after we're done with the session chat. Since we're kind of between RPGs at the moment. I don't feel like starting up Wild Arms 3 this week. We'll probably be playing PSO in um, August. Doing great. That's good to hear, Diego. Ooh, chat forced to not take Pachone. I'm so sorry, chat. Game was mean to you. Yeah. Game was very mean. Technically, if Candy Box comes up, it's still doable. Or if you get Tiramisu. But as I said before, I don't think that's unlocked by default because the game hates us. So I think we got enough power. I think I could just afford to walk forward with bouncing knives, bouncing axes. That should be good. Oh, actually, chat, you know what you could have done? Instead of uh, picking a choice, don't forget you have Banish. So on the right hand side, like see how it's choice number five because you have five choices. You could get rid of something rather than make a choice. So don't forget that's an option if you want to save the uh, Pachone pair. You have the power. Juice the swarms. Oh, I see the music notes. We're getting closer. I'm going to go pick this up. Get one more level up going. <laughs> wow, that feels like a taunt to chat. I mean, like, there's a possibility you will get Candy Box. It it might happen. It's just unlikely. Rip Ebony Wings. Yeah, there's the music note starting to appear, so that means I'm getting close. I do like the notes appearing in the background as you go further and further down. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep it like this so you can see the background gradually shifting. But I think I'll be fine with fighting a boss with this. You gave me knives. I prefer a little more damage with like axe. Nothing we can't fix in time. Hmm, not getting lucky with the items there. Ecto Swarm. I, t I can barely hit the vampire. You win this time, vampire. There's Spellbinder, aka the thing I don't care about. See, if that was Bracer, we would have gone for it. <laughs> I love Spellbinder showing up in the middle. It's like, I dare you to banish me. Hit five and delete me. Lots of phase guns. That's not too bad. Let's get another level up. Nice and simple. Oh, empty tome. We we haven't had like a good passive yet. That's our first good one. Oh, spinach isn't bad. The, the only reason why spinach doesn't matter is that we get 1% per level. On other characters, it would be amazing. On this character, it's just kind of redundant. Yeah, the faster we shoot those shots, the better for sure. Ooh, chat being nice today. Just <laughs> spellbinder. <laughs> I feel like it's going to get banished at some point. That item is such a troll. It works on so few things in this game. Kind of disappointing, honestly. Might see that at the end of the run. It just gets banished just because.
We're taking a little bit of damage, but fortunately my regen is existing. It shouldn't be too bad. Magic wand, interesting. Good pair, we do have the tome. Gold fever. Ooh, unfortunate. Get a teeny tiny bit of gold. It's always interesting seeing what chat chooses for builds. I think if we manage to get the Arcana for Slash, I think it's over. But again, we have some bad Arcana in our pool now. So there's, there's a strong likelihood we might get the healing one, which is pretty useless to us. Vanishes my evolve. <laughs> that would be pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie, it would be funny. It would be funny, amazing elf. <laughs> be like, I get out of here. <laughs> Thou shall never level this item up ever again. <laughs> We're gonna give you like pummelo for health recovery and just be like, nope. Ooh, area of effect up. That's a good pick up. Thank you, Chan. Yeah, I'm definitely open to see what kind of games people want to see me play while we're kind of on a break. I think Wild Arms might resume after we're done with PSO. The second game was, uh... It was a journey. It's a journey I don't really want to do back-to-back -back with another one of those. But I'm willing to give the third game a shot, see how it goes. Chrono Trigger, we basically are done with it. Thank you for the light sources. We're just doing, like, the DS bonuses. We'll move on to, like, Chrono Cross. Wild Arms 2 was the worst game of the year so far. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> it was like... That game was, uh... It, it was the Terra Enigma of 2024. <laughs> Brave of you to go for three? That's true. I mean, could it be worse than Wild Arms 2? I, I, I guess in theory it's possible. We were talking about that earlier. That was, uh, it was interesting. I think some games age very well, like Chrono Trigger. And we play other games that are, like, the thickest of milk left on the counter. <laughs> like, they, like, there, there is no refrigeration chat. It was, it was not meant to be preserved. <clears throat> Ooh, chat was going for the banish there. I saw it. I mean, I don't blame him. If you see bad choices, just banish. Okay, it's getting a little darker in the background, but we still have more to go. I'm just going to brute force my way through here. This should be fun. Hmm. I am very surprised I'm not taking more damage. Like, I'm not doing the best at dodging, but, like, honestly, how little I've taken from the Dragon Swarms has kind of shocked me. I've only been barely dodging them on purpose. Nicely done, nicely done. At some point, we'll play Hades. So, I don't know if tonight will be Hades. I'll think about it. If I'm in a good mood, we'll do Hades. Or if I'm in a really good mood, maybe I'll go back to Dicey Dungeons. See how it goes. Oh, we're finally almost at the relic. Yeah, the skies are like almost pitch black there. Remember now speeding up time in stage selection? Okay. See though? Oh, that is such a tease. Oh, that is mean. Game is like, here's Pichote chat. <laughs> That is messed up. Wow, and it selected Pachone. Well, I guess you could always get candy boxed. In theory, it'll do something. Alright, we're kind of able to kill them, but not really. Let's level a little more. Ooh, time stop is useful. Thank you for the light sources. Yeah, so if we get a candy box... It's possible for me to still get Pachone. Or if free passive gives Tiramisu, both of them will free it up. A 
Okay, better cooldown is good. We really need, like, we need, like, a damage multiplier, like, bracers at some point. I might as well just pick this up. I think this matters. There we go. So they're, like, kind of able to reach... Oh, there's Candy Box! Oh, there you go, chat. Speak speak its name and it shall appear in the menu. So if you vote Candy Box, I will do... I will personally select Ebony Wing for chat. Bring back Pachone. Chat playing the long odds of it appearing in crowd control. Let it, let it live every run. Oh, we really need, like... Stronger daggers or something. Not quite able to get the clears I need. I think once daggers pierce, we'll be in a good position. Though I still gotta keep heading south, because we still have to get to the bonus thing. Any box appeared up here. Alright, so I'm gonna select Ebony Wings for Chad. That is a lot of enemies. Let's choose the level up here. Ooh, he chose Stone Mask. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's get some experience. Okay, so we have Candelabra, Empty Tome, Laurels. Was not quick enough. Oof. Yeah, I think it goes random select when nobody selects in time. Oh, Empty Tome. Okay, so we're getting some pretty steady shots now. This will help with clear. I definitely want- oh, <laughs> got surrounded. Interesting. Ooh, Empty Tome with Dagger and Axe is huge. So that maxing is good. We still need like a damage thing, whether it's a box or something else is to be seen. But this should be an easy level up, so I'm just going to take this easy level up. When there's this many enemies. Yeah, I'm surprised we have Laurel at such a high level. Yeah, Axe passing through, knife critting, all huge. That just lets me bully the enemies a little more. It was like an instant level up. Do a chat decides. We'll probably do one more stage after this. I just want to make sure we get to like level 80-ish. We might need to do this stage again, but this time focusing on leveling. I mean, if we hit level 80, great. Then I can unlock the next part. Right now we're doing decent. We have like a... Th we're a third of the way through and we're already a little more than a third of the levels needed. That's good. And obviously we're going to level much faster as we get faster clears. Oh, there's Tarona's box. Uh-oh. <laughs> there there it is. Oh, no. That's going to be fun. Oh, hey, Bracer. I would appreciate if chat selected Bracer. That improves literally everything that we have. Thank you. Chat mercyed me. Ch chat could have technically banished the Bracer. That would have made me pretty sad. Although, funny enough, I could still technically get the Bracer if I go back up to the top. Okay, so now we just need to focus on a little bit of damage. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, that box is going to be so fun, and then at the 20-minute mark, I'm probably going to die due to it. But fortunately, we have Laurel. <laughs> so I have a chance. Ooh, thank you, chat, for the light sources. So yeah, this is going to prep us for the boss for sure. Because having a steady stream of knives is the difference between the boss taking like five minutes and two minutes. Yeah, like look how fast that was comparatively. The knives also give a little bit of knockdown. Do you have anything worth using the chest on? No. Might just ignore that chest and come back to it. You can banish the box at level 8. You could! 
That's actually a good strategy. Just force it to never level. It does remove the risk of the item, for sure. I'm gonna keep moving downwards. We're, we might come back to that chest. We'll see. So we know we've gone far enough when... I have trouble seeing on the screen. So I know we're not far enough yet. We're gonna pick up some steady XP as we go. Thanks to all the knives chat gave me. I should get a little bit of XP as I walk. Because killing stuff to the side doesn't super matter. But killing right in front does. Probably in the next two minutes we'll hear the music change. We have to be getting pretty close because we went really far beneath the other one so far. Hello swarms. I might as well as collect your experience. Nice, nice, nice. Arcana. If if this gives us slash chat, oh my gosh, please give me slash. Oh, I don't think any of them are slash. No. Well, I guess heart of fire might matter. It's better than, or it could freeze them. Hmm. What do you think, chat? Should I be freezing enemies or make them go boom? Fire. Yeah, if only we got Slash, that would have been ultra GG. Fireball! Chat votes Fireball, that's fair. Extra crispy! Extra crispy indeed. Damn, no Slash. But at least we got some nice uh, DPS. Oh, there we go, chat. I think the screen's getting darker. It popping on torches is also okay, because I spawn them pretty frequently. They're probably two more minutes of walking and we'll be there. I did get delayed a bit. As you can see the sky getting super dark, it's hard to see the details on the left hand side. You see how there's almost like a light aura around us now? While the rest of the stage gets darker. Probably about a minute away now, maybe minute 20. Um, I want that chest, but not right now. We don't have anything worth upgrading yet. Knives is getting close, but it's not capped. Look at us go, chat. might be pretty hard to go back to those chests. We'll see. But thanks to knives, at least I'm steadily leveling as I walk. That's not too bad. Oh, we're so far away from capping those other things, though, which is a shame. Oh, more damage. Thank you, chat. Base damage is huge when we have a 80% multiplier on damage. Yeah, so maybe at like 13.30 we might see the boss? As you can see, it's already getting very dark. We can't need that much more to reach it. Hello, Jelly Swarms. I should probably kill you. We'll pause here just to get some XP. Might be worth leveling again. Yeah, I think as we now unlock more characters, it's important for me to have some banishes. Because there's just going to be a point where we just don't want Bible, like, to ever show up ever again. It gets banished into the ether. So eventually this XP will gather into a red crystal off screen. Getting closer. We're almost at the halfway timer mark, and we're past the halfway point needed to get to the next stage. That's good. We're at 44. We need to be at 80 when we beat the stage. Should be doable. 
All we really need is an attractor orb at some point, and we're in business. And again, we are very steadily leveling, thanks to Knife. Shoutouts to Knife. Oh, hey, I could finally level Knife, maybe. With the evolution for 1,000 Knives. That'll be nice, because I've been passing out treasure chests, which is painful. So many enemies here. There we go. Yes, Toronto's boxes. I actually do like how Toronto's box works, especially with Banish. I think it's just overall really good, but Ebony Wing leveling will be more useful. There's a boss. If I could kill that boss and get a chest, that would be huge, actually. There we go. We now have a thousand edge, which is super good for us. We leveled up our main weapon and our projectiles are faster. This means boss is probably going to die instantly. Which is what I want to have happen, for sure. So those knives going faster with crit potential and bounce is pretty big. Even with the detours... You can see the screen's black. I have to go a little further. There we go. We're getting real close. I'm surprised we don't see it yet. So yeah, it might be a bit of a struggle to get back to the chest I left behind earlier. But at least we have one upgraded weapon. So many enemies. But still sadly no attractor orbs. We have like one really far back there, which doesn't matter. The Pachone getting close to capping. Not doing bad level-wise. As I said before, we just need to hit 80 by the end. We're already 10 levels up. I think we're at level 50 now. 49, pretty close. There's healing, but I don't really want healing. So at least if another treasure chest pops up, most of our weapons are pretty close to evolution now. Not too bad. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's promising. I like the dragon wall. Hmm. Okay, maybe I underestimated how long it takes to go dark. I knew it took at least 12 minutes to get there. I would have thought by 15 we would have seen the enemy already. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, I left a chest behind. Uh, I'll go back for it. Eventually. It's not an arcana, so I'm not going to go and look for it right this moment. Enemies are just melting right now. Floral improvement, nice. Come on, attract word from a lamp near us. Take a jelly swarm real quick. Another chest, but I can't do anything with it. We're, like, not quite maxed on anything still. Hmm. So it is getting quite difficult to see, so the boss should be around here somewhere. Wow, four choices and none of them weapon? Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? Please. We have four things to level. 
I mean, I guess Laurel technically counts, but... A lot of projectile lists. So eventually a boss is going to try to stop us. So if I see the death beam at the bottom, I think I don't go past it. It's been a while. Okay, we're just looking for the boss now. Wow, not a single attract orb. That is brutal. That is so brutal, chat. Where's the attract orb? <laughs> If we get that, by the way, it's like 15 levels. I've left literally like 12 or 14 screens worth of experience at this point. Trying to get to this boss. This boss is usually quite a journey. Oh boy. No arcana is good. If the boss is in here, I don't think I'd be able to tell. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I mean, would you be able to see it in this? Eris Pharma, indeed. Well, the music stopped. Boss is near us. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, no, it's just another random enemy. Okay, I really need to level. Like, two more levels. Game, please. All right, so I can't pick that up yet as much as I want to. So close. I can finally pick up chests. It's so sad. I'm, like, 20 minutes in, and I've been skipping every chest due to just not getting an attract orb early. Or late, I mean. Oh, man. I can hear it, but I still don't see it. But it. It should, in theory, be spawned, so I just have to find it, and we'll kill it. So it's worth kind of zigzagging a little bit, just to see if we could spot it in the mess of enemies. There's a fire breathing that dropped. The boost is good. If I see the bottom of the screen and it's blue barrier, I think I go back up. So many damage numbers. Spending some time to pick up experience. We'd like to hit 60 very soon, or we might not hit 80 in time. Where the heck is this boss? I'm gonna be like, game please on this one. Where is it? Super enemy. 
But I don't think that's the thing I'm looking for. It, that's just a regular boss. We don't care about that. Is that an attractor? Was that on the screen somewhere? I just don't see it. And it looks like it is. Let's pick this up regardless. Alright, so we freed up another slot. Alright, it's allegedly over here somewhere. I would like to go pick this up, please. Oh, I think it says he's here, by the way. The letter is on this side. Nice little touch there. Yeah, now our level should go much faster. All the attract orb. All the attract orb stuff is catching up to us, so I could finally pick up chests. So we were about 60 at 20 minutes, which isn't great, but we're still leveling here. We're back up to 62 now, so we need to hit 18 levels in 10 minutes. It's not the worst, given that we're still leveling. And Uli are getting the buffs. As the horror music plays. Area effect up. Not bad for Axe. Or bullet bounce, honestly. You return to darkness. Yeah. Welcome back, Chris. <laughs> you, might, you might be selecting things for a while. We had, what was that? At least 20 screens of experience. And we should skyrocket up pretty heavily in terms of damage. We're doing a little better, at least. Now we only need maybe 14 levels to get the unlock and also potentially fight this boss. Like, that's how underleveled I was, because I just couldn't find it. The fact that we're still getting XP <laughs> shows, like, how much I didn't pick up. Nice. Faster bullets equals faster death. The fact that Pichone might actually upgrade to Vandalier and still end cap in one shot is kind of funny. Yeah, now we need only maybe 12 levels in 10 minutes. That's very doable. 20 levels is kind of rough because the last three minutes are make or break. Whether you can actually kill fast enough to level, but now I don't think it matters. And having Vandalier Death Laser is huge. <laughs> I like how Chad is playing the game now. I just put the controller down. It's fine. I don't have to do anything. Maybe I'll type one in the chat. I, I got time. I could probably click out, boot it up real quick on the phone. Vandalier went from one to eight in one shot. Nice. We're still leveling. <laughs> yeah, this is fair. So our projectile speed is already insane. It's going to go more insane. That means the bullets are more likely to leave the screen faster, which is good because there are limited the number of projectiles you can have on screen at once. The faster they go, the more DPS I do because it spawns new ones faster. Now we're just down to Stone Mask and Tarona's box. There we go. Duration up for Pachone. We'll see if chat uses Vanish, though. More coins. Okay, I've lost track of how many times I've leveled. I'm assuming I need less than 10 levels in 10 minutes, which is more than doable. <laughs> We're still leveling. <laughs> there we go, chat. We, we might have been killing a few enemies on the way here. I might have been slightly underleveled. A little bit. We're at 119 might. I guess in a way, if I had kept track of what our starting might was, I could have worked backwards mathematically. But we're at 120 might now. <laughs> Wait, did I get so much XP that we're actually just going to cap? Is it happening, chat? Am I act Did I hit cap XP in one shot with the tractor? Holy. 
I mean, it just goes to show what happens when you skip 16 screens of experience. Yeah, the projectile speed is out of this world, too. The AoE of the laser is massive. Should we try Banish? Probably. I, I would do I do not think I want to curse on Gallows Tower. If this was like library, I would have been like, you max that curse. <laughs> like out of your mind. <laughs> but right now I'm like, nah, I, I need to make sure we hit level 80. When we're in other things, I don't think it matters. Holy. I can't believe we're gonna be at hundred percent bullet speed. That's kind of busted. Rona's box is so good. My new favorite item for sure. Oh! Chad actually did not get a chance to cap there. <laughs> Chad was so close. You almost maxed it. You were like two levels away from max. So we hit 84. We were <laughs> we <laughs> We were like 51 and I hit 84, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, this this is GG. Our damage is just insane right now. I'm still looking for the boss. It should look like a giant brain thing, if I remember correctly. So like, oh, there it is. There, there it is. Man, that guy was real deep in there. Oh, you know he's... Oh, <laughs> he's so tanky from our level ups. Look at him surviving the laser. The dagger is slowing him down. Oh, there's an Arcana. Oh, is the Slash? Please be Slash. I beg of you, please be Slash. It'd be so hilarious. Oh, did we get it? I think it is. Yes! <laughs> Chat, yes! <laughs> so much damage. GG. Oh, it's gonna die so fast. Goodbye. Character unlock. Here it comes. Slash is here, chat. I would appreciate if you banish this. It is two. Okay, there we go. We're gonna dodge the Torona's box. And I think it doesn't... I think it makes you choose again. Yeah, I, I gotta go find the treasure boxes. We got some time. Oh no, luck boost on this build? Oh no, chat. That would be disgustingly broken. I'm gonna do my best to make it back to the chest. But at this point, our damage is insane. Like, slash by itself is like a run care. Oh! You might- you could give me coins. I don't think I need healing. I do like that we banished it. Put that little slot in there. Unfortunately, you can't banish the coins. <laughs> that would be funny, but yet brutal. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna try to make our way back to some of these items. There should be a gold fever up here, according to this. Nice. The luck boost boosts our crit chance. Maybe on this side if I'm looking at this correctly. There we go. Scythe got upgraded. There it is. Uh, do I need to level up anything else? No, not really. You know what, Chad? If you summon Crab Fest, it's fine. You you earned it, Chad. You helped me get to this point. I hit level 80, so we're good. That's all that matters. If you want a Crab Fest, Crab Fest out of your minds. Got some healing over here if I really need it. This might be where I have my last stand against the Crab Fest. So much experience. Hello, crabs. There's a lot of crabs. 
I love the knives just critting for like several hundred damage. Slash is so broken, chat. I love Slash. There's a chest. Uh, we were not lucky enough to get an upgraded form of something. Fortunate. Let's stop time. In theory, I could make it to the next chest. I guess I will. Ooh, a trapped orb? Yeah, poor crabs getting roasted and chopped up. Our luck bonus is so strong that a lot of items are just dropping now from the candles. We're at 130 luck, which is pretty good. In theory, I might make it to this chest. We'll see. Crabs are naturally spawning. Interesting. He's a rosary. Sadly, no attract orb there. I hit level 100 in case that matters for an arcana. But we have definitely unlocked whatever is after this. No doubt in my mind. Th this is kind of hard to top, honestly. 102% might bonus. Just, mm. So we have just quadruple damage on scaling might. What a combo. Oh, attract orb. Another attract orb. Poor game. It's trying. Right now we have the power of Pichone with us. In form of Rainbow Blast. Oh, there was a boss there. I did walk into the boss, by the way. That boss got... Deleted, chat. Deleted. Like, that normally unlocks a character when you kill that. It did not matter to us at all. Yeah, giant enemy crab cannot stand quadruple damage from crits. Yeah, he got actually just completely annihilated. And the best part is I think I can reach this treasure chest, chat. Just hilarious. Do we have spare money? I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than buy the bonus character. At this point, Banish is good enough. We got a revive already. Oh, that's just a time stop. In theory, one of these could end up being like a super upgrade, but I kind of doubt it. Maybe we just got lucky that one time. It'll never happen again. Probably like a 1% chance or something of it occurring. Even with like high luck, it's like 4% at most. Cat swarm. Oh, hello. I have to care about you slightly. There's another boss. <laughs> I, I promise you the boss was there, chat. What it was, I have no idea. <laughs> it, it was yes. It should be really close to me now. Do you have anything fun? Nope. Just extra money. I mean, the fact that we're almost at 10,000 cash, that's pretty good. I mean, in my defense chat, I do have curse on. As a reminder, I'm not curseless. We're at 40% curse. It's just that when you have slash and you have iron blue will, it just doesn't matter anymore. If it's at like 200 curse, we care. 40%? Nah. Three kills. G give more for Pichone to annihilate. We're like, go ahead. Survive more than one hit. Watch what happens. Look at that damage. Ultra wave. Oh, pfft. Uh. That's a lot of enemies. I mean, chat did summon an ultra wave. I can barely see anything. But one would argue that that's not very different than normal. I don't think I can reach Spellbinder in time as much as I'm trying to. I think it's too much of a journey to make. Oh, I missed the chest. I will go back for said chest. In my defense, I don't think I would have seen it ever. I'm gonna take the Attractor. 
Where was it in here? Oh, okay, now I see it. More money. Kind of worth going back for. There we go, chat. Nice and smooth sailing to the end. As long as I don't just walk into a boss and die. Which, which, ha which has happened before. Remember that happening in the beta, where I felt really good, and I got triple bot by a boss, and it was just GG. That was the saddest end to like a 29 minute run. I gotta be vaguely aware of where they are. Spellbinder just barely on screen. Maybe I'll reach it if I keep holding up? Maybe? Would be funny. Oh, I killed another boss somewhere. I saw the icon pop up. There it is. In my defense, it died on the side of the screen, aka not where I'm walking. I can't help that the knife ricochet is so strong it kills on the other side of the room. Not my fault, chat, I swear. Well, now I don't think we could reach Spellbinder, but hey, 11,000 in cash. Like another six bonus characters. She might give the one that chat wants. There's one that, uh, it duplicates all weapons that are twin weapons, so that includes guns. But more importantly, it, it includes the bird. And I know chat loves the bird, so we can have quadruple bird. So close. There is a, uh, a tractor work around here somewhere, though. Take the rosary so I can see briefly. I can almost reach that chest if I keep holding up. So much on the screen. There it is. Yeah, you know it's getting crazy when I'm not even kill I'm not even killing these guys with crits. Holy, they are so tanky. Free passive, 30 seconds left in the run. It's a little late game, I'm just gonna say. A little, a little late there. I could try to take this opportunity to move upwards. Oh, it's so close to reaching the chest. Laurel might buy me enough time with revives to reach it before I die to the boss. We'll see. Maybe it'll happen. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight. Excuse me. Did you see that guy just fly up towards me like that? What a rude person. Yeah, it's over. He did not leave me alone. Rip the other chest. So we got O Soul for killing 3000 Dragon Shrimp. We unlocked Hurry Mode. We unlocked Gemini, which I think is the one that duplicates, because Gemini is twins. We unlocked a new area. Okay. Revive 10 minutes with Pagnala. We unlocked the gun. Revive 15 minutes. Got the gun. Did we unlock Tiramisu? No, we didn't. What? How do we unlock it then? Hold on. Yeah, like, we got Super Candy Box 2 Turbo. Oh, we have, well, mm, it in the collection doesn't mean we unlocked it, though. It just means we've used it. Yeah, let me look at unlocks. We have to play as Croshi for that. Ew. Ew. This is what I'm talking about, chat. We get robbed. <laughs> right? Like, that's not fair. We have to play as a completely unrelated character to get it. Gross. Um... I'll buy chat another vanish. Why not? All right, where? So, so I have to play as Croshi. Oh, these characters are kind of fun. Let's get this character because we know this character is something that I want. So I'm going to pick this character. Let's do. Oh, ah, uh, do I really want to do Capella? I don't think I do. Because that unlocks, like, the super lock, and I kind of don't want to do that. Could redo the bone zone. Look for the other item that I definitely miss. I missed the item in whiteout, but we did mount moon spell. Hmm. Weak to fire could be fun if I'm playing the cleric character. Maybe we'll do two more. I'll do one as, um... Uh... 
We'll do the plant survival one. This one plays with cross. Yeah, th this is where it gets crazy. See, illicit weapons come with the counterpart. Look at that, chat. Yeah, I could put that on for now. But honestly, one of the... Yeah, cross... Yeah, let's give cross bounces. I, I need some early kills. There we go. <laughs> Immediately get ebony wings. They got to witch out once. So we have magic wand bounces, fire wand bounces. Potentially we'll get the Gemini, which will be huge at some point. And we get eight the Sparrow, but unfortunately we don't have Tiramisu. So annoying. I guess we'd probably go for magic wand here. Oh, rip. Yeah, unfortunately, until we hit level 80 with him, we can't upgrade the gun. Which is, like, the whole point of the gun. It's so annoying that that one requires three. Ooh, I don't like any of these choices. For me, this would normally be a straight banish. I wouldn't even take a choice here. I'd be like, get out of here. We're not playing with whip. <laughs> well, now whip is spawned, because Chad has uh, picked the heart. Rip. see what we get here well, now I have the whip I guess that pays off now yeah cross bouncing is huge for our clear potential without it this character feels kind of terrible I definitely don't regret delaying him. I just regret not doing him before the other character. <laughs> Until we have the bounces and the raw stats. Nah, I didn't want to play as him. He just has like a million revives, which I think means he probably has the revive arcana, which is like your power goes up based off of the number of... Did you use revives or revives you hold? But either way, he, he has a synergy with the revives. And I think it also... Or he might just be the one that gives you three additional revives. Take it back. His might be the boring one. The only enemy is really plant. But we do have to clear this stage for a bonus. We might as well ask. Still don't know what gravity juggle does, I'm gonna be honest with you. bouncing here is huge. Our kill speed would be so terrible without it. I guess on the plus side, this is an area where curse doesn't really matter that much. Menacing growing plants. So many vanishes.
Yeah, that reminds me, Chad. If there's weapons you don't want, if you banish weapons or common items, you're going to improve the odds of you seeing uh, the rare items. So if you don't want buy a bullet and it comes up, I would just banish it. I wouldn't even bother leveling. See what Chad does here. These. Like that the trees are slowly encroaching on us. Air wand and duplicator, interesting. Dupe is pretty strong. Nice, nice. Or whip more cross. There we go. Burn down the trees. Take that world. what we get for clearing this. I know we get like a... Usually we get like little minor things like uh, music changes which we unlocked already. I think we get a character out of this but it could be mistaken. I think otherwise uh, you know, it's, just, it's allegedly a challenge level. So we need to do those at some point just to unlock all the abilities. Oh no, the trees are getting sturdier. Yeah, the bouncing cross here makes cross a lot better. I think slash also makes it so that crosses can crit. I would not mind slash if it comes up. We'll see though. I don't think there's anything we could kill for treasure chest though, so it's possible we can't get the upgrades at all. Apparently things, there are elite trees. Just didn't notice. Okay, we'll get a whip upgrade then, early. Doing my best to pick up as much as I can while walking around. Upgraded version, interesting. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Big level up time. Oh, there's Pichone. Chat held off. Yeah, fortunately, this is a pretty short stage, so given that I don't super care about this character, as long as we hit 80 by the end, I'm happy. I'd be a little tight with 15 minutes, though. We'll see. 
I, might, I unfortunately might need to play as him again to get his Arcana. But hopefully we at least unlock Tiramisu. We'll see. That chat spawning the jellyfish actually gives me something to fight. Probably not gonna hit 80, but I should at least hit the survival limit for some of the unlocks. I have to play him again in a different stage, sadly. Oh well. I guess in theory it's still doable. I'll take that. Clover is the thing. And we just need a chest to evolve. Not an evolution, sadly, but it did give us the Ebony Wings. That was a good screen wipe. Full Fever, I'll take that. I also also get extra cash, right, chat? On the plus side, they are spawning pretty quickly, I think partially due in part to Curse. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Fire Wand, interesting. Cat burning everything down. Ooh, another rosary. Imp swarm. Just need like one more attractor. There it is. Let's kill a little bit here. milk as much experience from this as I could get. I think that's good enough. Big level time. Oh, but there's the other gun. Chat was bored. This will be max. It's gonna be tight. If we could do it. Dupe max. It makes a big difference with clear speed. Because at this point, it's a combination of we need movement, speed, experience, and full screen clears. Some combination thereof will result in big damage. Nice. 
So if we're at least level 40 right now, then we're in a good position. If we're not, we'll see. For 36. It'll still happen. We need to be very serious about this XP gathering. The duplicator definitely helps. It makes whip a lot better and then cross is bouncing more. They just have more raw death per second. That swarm is huge. Even if it's not like a ton of ton of XP, it forces the game to actually give us something else. Like red orb fashion. There we go. We're like a little under leveled still. But we got a surprising amount of XP. I guess it's the bonus growth. Definitely helped us out a little bit. <laughs> Weirdly, Pentagram would have been like godlike here. Ooh, movement speed up, nice. I mean, I'm hopefully gonna get an upgrade here. Nope. No weapon upgrade at seven minute mark for short stage, interesting. That's fun. <laughs> Maybe we only get like one weapon upgrade by the end, which is kind of rough. I think we're not going to make it at this point, because I'm halfway through. I'm not even at level 40. I need something to boost what we get faster. Maybe just like a tractor orb or something would be good, if not the crown. Because I don't think we're having a damage issue. It's just the I can't collect it issue, and then there is just like no chest upgrades, which is a bit brutal. Unless they want to drop a chest upgrade, then then I think we're in business. Yeah, sadly we'll have to play this character again. I'm kind of curious about Ultra Wave. Ultra Wave me chat. <laughs> Maybe this will give the XP that I need. As I look for an Attractor. On the plus side, they're spawning pretty frequently, so my luck must be decent. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Wow, how was not a single one of those in a tractor? That is painful. That was like 15 in a row that I popped. Oh, is it just an ultra of the green plants? Oh, I thought it was going to be like some other crazy spawn. That was a little disappointing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to give us like imps or something crazy. Like, something that actually moved. Disappointing, but not entirely unexpected. Where are the torches for the Attractor of Game Please? <laughs> so many single coins. Where's the Attractor? Game, please. Do you not exist in this universe? Have you decided to stop spawning? Oh yeah, we're definitely not going to get it now, because we haven't seen a single one in like 14 or 16 candle breaks. That's pretty bad. Good luck bonus. Oh, there's an old man who I just murdered. Got Heaven Sword. I mean, I got Rosary before I got the other thing. It's kind of insane. I 
the chest. Oh. Were we not at... Oh, we're still not leveled. I did. I could have waited on that. Hmm. Got a time stop before the attract door. That's kind of brutal. I'm pausing every now and then just to make sure I still haven't spawned one. Wow. Chat, this is what we like to call unlucky. There it is. Holy. <laughs> it's like, what was that? I swear that was like the 29th or 30th one to get it on like an okay luck score. Kind of unreal. At least we should level for a little bit. Yeah, sadly I haven't seen Bracer. Bracer also would have helped. <laughs> Chat must pick an item. Or Banish. I guess technically Banish is always there. Oh, going for the Banish. What are we getting rid of? Goodbye, Pomerallo. It's true, we really don't need you. You're one of the worst upgrades. Chat has deleted it. Oh, there's Pachone again. Or Bracer. We have a lot of projectiles, but they don't go very fast. Ooh. Might be another banish time. Armor is definitely a waste of time. There's no way Chad is choosing armor for me. That's crazy. That here armor. Yo, what is that indeed? Oh, there's an attract orb. Wouldn't be bad with Santa Order, honestly. We only have a few minutes left. Might as well try to get what we can. Gun is gonna level. Wow, it didn't level Pachone. Or, well, I mean, Pachone's there, but it's like, wow. I was just thinking, we went through that many things without it. And we're trying to cycle through a better passive. Max the gun. And we're getting some makeup levels here, but I would need to get like 20 levels in 4 minutes, which is not likely unless we saved a lot of XP here. Yeah, not really. Oh well, we tried. Low bat swarm. Oh, there's fire wand. But yeah, on the plus side, we should at least get the minimum for Tiramisu. Oh, there is an Arcana in here somewhere. Interesting. Sure. What Arcana can we get to improve our damage? <sighs> we got one thing. We got a couple things that be benefit from crit. Iron Blue would bounce the bullets. Magic Princess doesn't matter. This will do Slash. How much does Slash really matter at this point? Not super. Fine, though. Um, if we could just get one more level up, I could get Pachone leveled. Now they're spawning pretty aggressively, which is good for us. But once Pachone hits max, I should be able to pick up that chest. I'm seeing like 600 damage every now and then. Is that the Heaven Sword just randomly critting or is that the whip? Must be the Heaven Sword.
That is a lot of damage. Slash makes, like, mediocre weapons, like, top tier. <laughs> Originally, the Slash Iron Blue Will was definitely the strongest combo in the game, but since then, there's so many Arcanas in new stages. And definitely since the release of the, uh, clock upgrade. No longer the best. Hello, hope you're doing well. Need another level there. We'll do one more stage after this, and we'll talk about what the evening game might be. Upgrade whip. Yeah, I guess I could do that if you want. I was gonna save it for Pachone. Get some fire breathing. All right, there's an attractor. See if we could do it. Or Pachone. It's so close. The odds of us leveling fast enough are pretty much zero, unfortunately. That's fun. Hopefully this will be enough to get the other unlock. And if nothing else, we cleared the stage. Hmm. Guess I'll go pick this up. I think we have to kill a lot of those ghost men, I think, for something. This doesn't hurt that we're getting some of these out of the way. I think we got it while we're in the dairy plan, as an example. Oh, now we get back-to-back -back attract dwarves. Oh, that would have been better earlier. Oh, well. Yeah, I think this is the lowest amount of weapons we've cleared a stage with so far. Only four. Rip our weapon choices, I guess. On the plus side, between whip and everything else, we should survive to the uh, end of the stage. Yeah, I forget if they're called, like, Milk Elemental or something. They have a weird name. Hello, Bat Swarm. I found another attractor. should be the conclusion of the stage soon. We had at least level 50, which might be enough for items, but we'd have to try again to get the uh, Arcana. Assuming Ava won his Arcana, because honestly, the character's kind of eh. We have, we have much better ones already unlocked. I think he's even worse than the starting characters, to be honest. Unless I'm going for like a specific challenge. I'd rather a projectile plus one all day. Chat panic timed me at the end. Nice. Yeah, we'll just quit out. It's fine. We don't need that. Oh, we did get it. Oh, but we oh, we didn't get the other thing, though. How long did I need for the other item? Oh, no. Is it 20 minutes for his thing? Man, you suck. <laughs> right, chat? Man, the only thing I wanted to unlock, we did unlock. That's unfortunate. We got the thing that I didn't care about unlocked, I guess. Um, Sure, I could buy you. By you. So we have most of the characters unlocked. So we've won as every character at this point in the top row. So now we can move on to the next row. Or I can play Crochi again, technically. Yeah, yeah Gra indeed. 
I know, so unfortunate. I mean, like, I guess I'll play him again, because I'll forget that I haven't gotten his thing. Yeah, like, the gaining more revivals, like, if we have Arcana that depends on the power of revival, he's okay there. But, like, I don't want to bring him to stage 5, because that's a gimmicky stage, from what I recall. So I don't want to do that one. I could do the library, but that's just kind of okay. I'm curious if I should try a challenge stage or whiteout. I was kind of leaving the enemies are slow and weak to fire for the cleric character, to be honest. Um, I, I guess I could try this. Let's see how hard this is. So we'll eventually do Gemini. But I think to get him started, because he does no damage, I need Waltz of Pearls. There we go, we get some choices. We have kind of a map to contend with. I figured might as well do bonus stuff without advancing to the truly nonsense stuff. <laughs> or we say goodbye to Rune Tracer. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Banish that thing into the ether. No, thank you. Get out of here, Rune Tracer. We need better weapons. Hit your common self out of the pool. Nice, nice. Garlic, really? Just remember, Chad, if you're starting to see a weapon that you are seeing more than you want of your preferred type, that would be an opportunity to move around and use some banish. Okay. There's like a lot of traps on the floor, but I don't know what my goal is yet with the stage. Duplicator knife, interesting. Panic time already? Yeah, that would be GG. If chat panic times me, GG. Just work, pa pack your bags, it's over. I'm not surviving. Even with double revives, I don't think I'd make it. That's kind of brutal that it's like, I only have one weapon, like, oh my gosh, I'd be dead so fast. The exit is to the right, but there's also a lever. Oh. Got a duplicator upgrade, that's good. I could spawn a train. Interesting. Different. Oh boy, those are kind of tanky, but that's a lot of XP. I'm kind of glad I set that trap off. Might be needing it. need something other than cross at some point this is kind of painful we haven't seen any like really solid room clear there's clover i guess if you want to upgrade cross but i i am desperate for something for clearing because only cross is not gonna cut it i feel in the long run Right now it's okay. We got like six levels. It's never good to go very long without another weapon because it really hampers your clear speed. Dupe will hold us over for a bit though. Let's step on this on purpose. Yeah, there we go. Oh. 
It summoned projectiles. Empty tome, not bad. I'm not sure what the gimmick of this place is so far. I mean, we saw the train, but is there anything else? Like, we hit a switch. Train occurs. Like, am I supposed to potentially walk to the exit? Because there were exit signs pointing to the right. But then again, in this game, we've seen that we kind of go left and right, and it doesn't always make a big difference. But welcome, remote battery, again. Um, I don't know if I want to take the crown right away. Let, let's see what we get first. Might leave that there. There's Ebony Wings. Cat loves that item. But at least we have some damage. Might leave that there for now. I'm going to see what happens if I go against the flow. What happens? We can summon trains pretty readily. But is there like a hidden door or something I should be looking out over here? Oh. There's all these weapons in here. I can see like the Heaven Sword, the Spellbinder, the Bibles. So, could I have been going in those rooms the whole time? Probably double check that. <laughs> Spellbinder. I was going to say, if, any if anything was craving a banishing, <laughs> it's Spellbinder. That item is so dumb. Alright, give me Lightning Ring. So maybe I just try opening the other doors? Interesting. That gave us Armadillo, allows you to choose an extra passive weapon. Oh. Um. I wasn't expecting this. Well, good thing we went backwards, chat. <laughs> I think we almost didn't pick up the gimmick of this area. Which we've now found out is worth checking. So we have trains to kill the bottom half. Maybe the upper labs give us new items. Hmm. Do I just go for the box, chat? I mean, this is a good item. If we unlock this one permanently, I'm kind of happy about that. Skip would be, like, actual insanity to not take. Let's go for the box. Ooh. Thank you for the light source. So let's... Oh, is that a boss? I think it is. Boss in the past tense. So our projectile speed is really good. Magic wand scales with that pretty well. We end up with an axe or a knife. That would be huge. I don't think anything else. Fire wand also benefits to some extent. But we don't have the other counterpart to that. There we go. Chat helping out big time. So that's good. I mean, I'm going to go backwards then. We'll pick up the crown on the way back, I think. I wonder if there was something in the very first room that I ignored. Yeah, sadly we don't have the tier um, Jisoo instead of Misu for the gun. Or else the gun could have been fun. Rip gun. Right now it's just kind of... Eh. What's in here? Money... Nothing in particular. The level's not, like, super overwhelmingly difficult. It's, like, around plant in terms of difficulty. That's not too bad. Nice rosary. Why is the... Oh, I gotta walk into it. Got it. So I hit a switch, but I didn't see what it did. Hmm. Interesting.
Oh, new weapon? Oh, Pichone wants Pichone. Oh. I think that's going to unlock a new character if we pick it up. All right, let, let's try to unlock Pichone. I think that's the Glacial something or other. We saw that briefly in the unlocks. And maybe we'll unlock Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm guessing. Okay, once we get Pichone, we can move on. Oh, I'm doing zero damage, chat. This is so sad. Wow. Yeah, we need to start leveling something immediately. I think the problem is every weapon other than Cross is rank one, and Cross is kind of weak. Yeah. Cross kind of Cross kind of booty. Might go pick this up. I just need something for base damage. I need base damage. Oh, another Arcana. I'll take this. Oh, it had a triple. Interesting. Um, Hill Crystal might be okay. I don't like most of these choices. Yeah, at least Yellow Crystal has some purpose in our build. Yeah, really hoping for Slash or something different there. Oh, well. Oh, there's Pichone. I could go pick up the other weapon once chat does that. But at least we'll have more DPS options. So really, really glad I went back. So I could have picked this up at the start. I think this is about where we started before. Santa Javelin. It's like a Glacial Javelin. Duration affects amount? Is... Are you telling me there's going to be a purpose... There's going to be a purpose to duration. Did they finally realize that duration doesn't work on like half the weapons in the game? There's like almost no point to it most of the time. Well, there it is. I think we're out of passives, right? Yeah, so I could go pick up the crown now as well. It's interesting. Cross base damage up by 10. I mean, you might as well as at this point. At least I could get a weapon upgrade. That's neat. We're unlocking new things. I don't know if it's in the base game or the DLC. The, the Spell Moon stuff, I think, is DLC. Finish. Sure. We, I did need a little bit of damage. This does make a difference. Getting to 20 minutes with his number of revives, we should be good. I do like that I can summon the train. I kind of like that. So we'll pick up the crown, because that's free. Oh. Um. Um. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I was out of the way when that happened. That could have been very bad. I'm already watching our damage fail us. Is his might just really low or something? Um, fine. So at least we got the cooldown to him, which should help significantly. I unfortunately picked up the red orb on the way towards the crown. Yeah, that 8% XP might actually make a difference. Because most of our weapons are super basic. So we have the wand potentially stunning people. So that's our defensive item. The Chone will merge. But we won't get another weapon slot due to how I picked up items. At least, it's kind of like a different variation of... Oh, three attract orbs? Interesting. 
It's kind of like a different variation on Lightning Ring. Kind of neat. I saw it had some synergies in the book earlier. I have no idea what level Santa with Javelin. So at some point, we should probably try to confirm it. Maybe we're lucky and we have it. I mean, we have a lot of passives. So we can at least rule out what we have if it doesn't upgrade. Okay, it feels like we're starting to do some serious damage, which is a good sign. Another boss. Okay, we have two revivals in case it gets tough and we need to last like another 20 seconds at the end. Feeling pretty good right now. More XP, respectable. I guess I should just pick this up now. Oh, we can get the upgrade at seven minutes. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because it didn't have an upgrade, I wasn't gonna pick it up, but disregard that apparently. That's so fun. Love using the train. Hmm. They've yet another way to get experience here, which I might do shortly. We really need to get to Slash or something. We need a better book. We kind of took a mediocre choice. We'll see how it goes. Let's get one Attractor going. At least with Bracer, we should be attacking pretty quickly. That helps with the dagger, the magic wand, and even to an extent, the swords. We have more XP up to get, potentially. I'm gonna go this way, clear them out a little bit, and then we're gonna go right back up. I, freak I think it's, is it crosses and magic wand bounce? I don't think it's knives and magic wand bounce. Else I would have seen it. Or, I mean cross. I'm assuming the magic wand is bouncing with cross. I think it's Dagger and Axes that are in, like, their own group. Not bad. We're almost capped at Magic 1 damage, which is good. So that means I can pick up another chest. At least we know Duration Up will benefit the, the Glacial Javelin at some point. So when the box starts to level... Honestly, I'm kind of okay with spawning more uh, jellyfish here. Fighting like terminators and all sorts of odd things. Yeah, Pachone and Ebony Wings are like not even remotely close to leveling. Had a long time for them.
starting to take some damage. We still have backup healing. We still have some good accessories to upgrade. I'll even take the one where, like, walking around reduces cooldown. Pick this up. There we go. This should speed up our kills. Nicely done. At least we seem to have good boss damage if it comes up. With a good opportunity to potentially lock down annoying enemies. Our crits are not bad. At some point I would like to see beyond this point, but I think it doesn't make sense while we're still leveling to do this. We're gonna go at least another minute or so. Try to get ourselves closer to leveling again. Spawn more enemies. Luck boost, thank you, Cha. That's actually huge, because we do have some crits. Arcana. Okay. This could be big, just don't give us bad ones. Our choice is our Tragic Princess, which does impact quite a lot in here, or I could get... Oh, this is Awake? Consuming a Revival gives 10% to stats. Oh yeah, this is the other one the other guy has. I mean, this one's not bad, but... I think we just go for Tragic Princess, right? Because we have Lightning Ring and the Javelin. Plus we... It's a good excuse to use this. This is normally what you do to start with him, just and die on purpose, so he becomes really tanky. But honestly, I think I'd rather just attack more. So no big crit focus, but... We do potentially make these items attack pretty quickly. Yeah, you can see like how much faster we're attacking now, just from a little bit of movement. Because it makes even our unloved weapons do, like, a million more damage. Not bad, not bad. Uh, once, presumably, Rosary goes off, I'm gonna go collect the XP up. There we go. That's the kind of swarm I need for experience, right, chat? Oh, it goes swarm times 10. I will right, we'll wait a little bit on the uh, orb then. There's a thing, but I don't think I could get anything with it. So we're going to hold off on the treasure chest acquisition. Should be a lot of experience for us, though. of enemies. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go use the orb now, because we should be able to catch up experience really rapidly here. We have a lot of weapons that could max, based off of what we have. Not doing bad. Let's go pick this up now. How many wings going to cap? That's good. I'm kind of curious what Santa Javelin kind of scales with, since it's a brand new item. But we'll eventually see. Candelabra with it seems kind of good. But we'll see about if anything else makes sense with it. Ooh, Pachone is getting close. Sadly, we will not get another weapon slot since we're already at 7. But it's nice to potentially combine them anyway. Hmm, kind of a weird level up. Only more projectiles with Lightning Ring. But I guess that works with our Arcana. There we go. Here's, here's where the XP starts to come in. Hopefully we end up getting two more levels in Pachone. Since I did kill a lot before purposely picking that up. Cooldown is huge. That is a lot of lightning and death from the sky. 
Yeah, I kind of like that Javelin pairs with Lightning Ring, so if we do like a long range strategy, there's like more support items for that. Oh no, not 23. A fake out. Oh, Pachone getting close. One more level for Pachone, and then we can leave this area. Yeah, I think our items are pretty good. Lightning Ring finally getting a little bit of love. Knife really far behind. The only thing further behind than that is Santa Javelin. We did get much later, to be fair. Wow. Detome already going to be capped. That is big for our DPS. But sadly, just a little shy of Pachone. Hopefully this gives us Pachone. Did, nice. Right on time. We have three upgraded weapons. I know how to upgrade two of them, and then we have a mystery one. Ooh, a triple level. That's actually huge, extra XP. So many enemies here. But so far, I don't feel punished for taking the curse. I feel like their enhanced spawn rate, I think, has been benefiting us pretty heavily. Yeah, normally what I like to do on, like, hard maps like Dairy Plant, I just kind of die on purpose. Against, uh, with Revive Equip just to get super stats. Then that area becomes a lot more fun. I think if I were to do the Ice Area, for example, I would play this character. Just for a very cheesy, like, equivalency of getting an armor passive without needing to do anything. And then hopefully with his Tiramisu, that gives him even more. And then he can burn those up as well. And then end up basically unkillable. Uh, I should probably not go this way. Let's take the upper path. It seems like most of the things are hidden. Oh my gosh, so many items. So many things that are hidden in the lab itself, versus like on foot. 20 damage when we're already really low cooldown from walking is kind of huge for Lightning Ring. That's going to start spawning a lot more red gems just due to the AoE. Oh, next chest upgrades. That's good. This Lightning Ring is putting in the work. Candelabra works really well with it. Poor Knife and Javelin, they're so far behind. Ooh, a candy box. And a boss level up, so let's go get this real quick. Knife, Clover, and that is good. So much XP here. So between the knife and the wand, I don't think bosses will be able to do too much to us. Back door is huge. So hopefully between our many items here... I mean, we have eight passives. That's not a bad amount to check for a new weapon. I don't know if it wants, like, the same thing that Santa Water levels. That would have been my guess. I would think maybe the Attractor plus the Javelin makes a difference. Or maybe it combines with a Spellbinder since it deals with area. I guess we'll find out, though. Uh, let's go pick this up. What should we get, chat? Should I get a pentagram, because we have the crown? Should I get... I don't have anything for axe. Night sword, I don't know if we have what it combines with. Uh, let's, let's do pentagram. I was going to say, if we had a skull or the mask, that's what I'm thinking it is. 
Let's just go pentagram. I think our luck bonus is good enough. The clover. It's enough synergy there. Yeah, I, I think if we didn't have Clover, I might have tried Night Sword. Technically, Clover could be what Night Sword needs. Oh, that was satisfying. That is a lot of enemies on screen. So it's like at least we have a decent shot of it not deleting experience. Eventually, we need to level it. Oh, I think it deleted the item that might have been in here. That's unfortunate. Oh well, rip item. Oh, that 25% chance to not delete? Yes, please. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Hopefully it wasn't anything new. Clover, more luck. Wow, look at the difference of the enemy spawns. Oh, can you imagine if the, every time you walk, you reduce the cooldown on Pentagram, how broken that would be? Can you imagine if those Arcana work with this? I don't think it does, but it is hilarious if that were to exist. Okay, money bag, healing, switch. Don't know what the switch did, but I hit it. Maybe it's for unlocking a bonus character. I just gotta hit more switches. I mean, I'll keep going. So it's like, it's not that I won't at least explore a bit more. Chat pumping up the AoE over Santa Javelin. Rip Santa Javelin. Yeah, I think our bite score is decent. We have a lot of ways to raise it still. More luck for the pentagram. That's good. We'll probably need it. We'll still somehow fail with that much luck for no reason. I mean, I think with a 130% chance, I think that means it should be not activating at this point. I mean, I, chat's gonna choose Vandalier. There's not even a question on that one. <laughs> Zero doubt. I apparently picked up super XP while gold fever is triggering. <laughs> It's trying really hard. Oh my gosh, a back-to-back -back pentagram? That's monstrous. <laughs> they, can't, they can't even do it. There's like stacked pentagram. It's just like the characters just unleash their burst. Goodbye. Poor, poor enemies. Oh, they're exploding in cash. No, I, I know you killed them. <laughs> This is the Reaper's power. Show us Fennel, maybe. More luck bonus, nice. Oh, don't do not do another Javelin. They're already dead. I don't think it does anything. You Vandalier or something. Aw. You're, you're stacking too many pentagrams. It doesn't do anything. Rip. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I guess we could go for the upgraded form. One day. I'll be able to move. There we go. Surprisingly did not delete anything. Lightning Ring actually one-shotting this entire room. That's kind of insanity. The fact that it's not even at max damage yet is kind of silly. We still have spinach in Torona's box. Yeah, chat, to, chat on a roll for sure right now. We just need to kill a boss. Just want to make sure we didn't kill a boss. I had to double check. 
orb is where? Oh, maybe it was in the corner. No. Where? Oh, there it is. Now I see it. It's like in the extreme bottom right corner. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to go pick that up for leveling. I mean, now that we have death lasers, I at least have a consistent way to move. Here come all the level ups. So 15 minutes in and we're basically done with the build. If not for Candy Box, we would be basically just wrapping up Bandolier. Or 69% might. Pretty strong. Lightning Ring's still one-shotting right now. Eventually it won't. We're Bandolier. Nice. I mean, hopefully we don't see any surprise insta-kills. Like, there's no death or something that just ends the run. At least on the plus side, I have, I have Pentagram, if that does happen. Maybe I'll be able to survive a Stalker or a Drowner. Maybe. Although, with this kind of level layout, I doubt there's a Drowner. On the plus side, if we needed him to hit level 80 for anything, it's going to happen. The Vandalier is capped. The Death Laser is here. Something exciting in here. Pause time. Chat, making sure I do max damage. There. Still no chests. Oh no, chat panic timed? Uh... This is kind of the worst spot to be in for this. I Remember chat, I can't hit through walls. This is not good. Um. Okay, right, laser saves me. I could get out of this hallway. <laughs> like, yeah, because, I yeah, the walls mean that I, I only have, like, a very short time to hit them, which is kind of brutal. As long as I'm moving, I think I'll be fine. Fires one more projectile. Cooldown reduced by 0.5. Wow. That's a kind of big cooldown reduction. Hmm. Base damage up by 10. Fair. I think its damage was pretty respectable. It seemed to start at at least 30 or 40. That's fair. Extra projectile, more damage. Ooh. I mean, we have revive, so if I really need to... Yeah, like, right here is where I want to be, because now I can clear them out. Yeah, now that I'm in an open spot, now it's not so bad. That thin hallway, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so dead. I did lose, like, half my health. Oh, they're still coming. <laughs> oh my god, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh, there we go. I think, I think we got through it. I left a chest behind. I'll have to go back for it. Okay, getting the crown would be huge, because then I can attract or full screen. Thousand knives? That's not... Uh, whatever. Fine. We'll accept it, I guess. Definitely want a pentagram leveled up before that. Base area up by 50%, cooldown reduced by another half second. I mean, I already don't think the cooldown is that long. Pretty passive, interesting. Fires another projectile. I mean, it's already shooting so quickly. Nice for next in order, sadly. Yeah. 
There we go. Make it some progress. Back at full health. With our luck bonus, we should not have to worry about our XP being deleted. Damage up and cooldown reduced again? Wow. It's already going off almost as much as Lightning Ring. So maybe with this it will. They keep match. They match pace, maybe. I mean, we could see it sniping for how many hundreds? Like 60 every projectile or more? Yeah, 60 to 70 every projectile. Pretty strong. I like that as kind of like a more focused lightning ring. You just need like another chest. At this point, our power is only being gated by chests. <laughs> I think otherwise we're, we're pretty strong. Oh, luck boost would be huge. Base damage up by 30. Though it's doing over 70 every hit. Is the, it fires very quickly. That's stronger than the axes currently, if I were to have it. Just keep in mind that gets hit by our strength boost. Yeah, I think it's hitting for like 200 plus. That's very silly. Yeah. Like, when you're adding 100 more damage, we so it was already doing 70, but then it would do almost basically 130 by itself. That's a really strong passive weapon. That is much better than Cross. Yeah, I definitely want to play the character that has this as their main weapon. It seems fun with the move around cooldown reduction. And keep in mind, it also improves with duration, which is not something that normally matters on other weapons. So area infects, affects it. Projectile speed I don't think affects it. Might definitely does. There we go. We're going to full power. Almost a full build. Yeah, this will probably be the last run. I gotta go get some food. I am most hungry. So we're at 102% projectile speed, which does help with our other weapons. Uh, I would appreciate if chat banished this, or I'm going to feel very sad. There we go. I wasn't thinking banish in Toronto's box right away. I was thinking more banish and awful spellbinder. But it's nice to see it as other uses. Like, sometimes I did banish, I think, on the skulls in the demo one, where I'm like, I just want, like, a 20% boost. Wow, we can already do always big coin bag. That's huge. Our money total is looking pretty good for unlocking characters, so even if the price scales, let's still purchase them. Get another luck boost, which is silly. Just need another treasure chest. Yeah, that would be funny if you. Oh, there's the chest. Hey, here we go. Oh, super upgrade? Uh. So presumably we should get more than one upgrade from this, right? Well, anyway, chat's witnessing the purchasing of a new character. Moon unlocked. Oh no, chat. The fact that it then grabs all this XP is where it gets broken. Yeah, I guess we don't have what it needs. Oh well. I 
mean, I just kind of want to trigger traps at this point. I don't think I really care what they do. Oh, so I, I found a Spellbinder. Maybe that makes a difference. There's another boss. Are they bosses, or are they normal enemies? Oh, they're normal enemies? Whoa. Uh, difficulty jump. <laughs> Chat, small difficulty jump. I'm not even killing them anymore. What is this? We did find the Oni. Ludana agrees. Or he's more questioning it, really. Well, I guess this improves the other thing that we have. Well, Chad has choices, I suppose. So, I think in theory this affects the javelin, question mark? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 passives. Wow, I'm taking some serious damage. Yeah, we went from doing fine to like not doing well at all. What a what a transition of two minutes. Maybe that's what the switches did. It upgraded the enemies or something. Uh, I might actually die here for real. I'm trying not to. Oh, we need to get to healing immediately. All behind us, sadly. Death kind of came out of nowhere. How rude. Oh, if it's only a 20 minute stage, that's not too bad. I'll accept death, I guess. No total of 20. Five, blah, 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 unlocked Armadillo. So that's a new unlock forever. It sent a devil into seven, unlocked it. So we didn't lock the character that has it. Survive 20 minutes. Unlock Santa. Okay, so we got the other one. Deal total 25, 120 damage with the laboratory train. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that, <laughs> by the way. Let's see. Heaven's Sword did 2.4 million, which was not all that impressive. Thunderloop did 3.3. How much did the Santa Javelin do? Almost a million by itself? Given that we didn't have it all that long, I'm kind of okay with that damage. It doing almost a million for a base weapon? I think that's really good, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's actually pretty... That's pretty high up there for a base weapon doing almost a mil with, like, no other support. It's a shame we didn't figure out what it combined with, but... Whatever. So, I don't really want to do skips. Anything else I feel like doing, so I'm just looking to see what we got. So we got 15 minutes with the other characters to unlock their weapons. Is there anything else I should know about? 20 minutes of whiteout we should be able to get to. Any other cores I should know about? Get Glass Fandango to level 7? I don't even know what that is. Hmm. Recover a total of a thousand health. Yeah, that's a lot of these we did instantly. Find five golden fingers. Know what that is at all? Find and buy the glass wizard. Oh, that's in the next stage. We don't have to worry about that. We unlock a character for finding all the standard relics. Which we got a little more to go. Find the antidote in whiteout. Interesting. I didn't open the coffin and capella manga. We'll do that next time. They were called milk elementals. So we did go, we did make progress with them at least. Stage killers, I don't know what those are. We did a total of 16, 16, 16 bats. We've killed 32,000 so far. How, how am I going to kill 100,000 more bats? Like we've been playing for how many hours and how many bat swarms? Holy. Oh, we still have a lot to do here. Level 50 with Demario? 
Which one's the Mario? Oh, down here. Oh, yeah, we haven't played these characters yet. Okay, that's fair. I just want to make sure. I'm like, uh... Inlaid library. We almost got this one. That's the sad one. We... I think we lasted 31 minutes earlier when we started our CC sessions last time, but we didn't have the random bazo, so it didn't count it. Just not really fair. Like, we definitely went past 31 minutes. I'm not even looking at the VOD. We had more than one death spawn. We lasted more than 31 minutes. Reached minute 31 in dairy plants. So some of these we'll come back for. Reached level 80 with the Joe characters to unlock a reroll. Not a bad thing to get. Oh yeah, what was character customization? I never looked that up after we did that. Banish 10 or more weapons in a single run. Oh. I, wait, how do you banish 10? We only, we only have three... How many more banishes? are? Oh, there's a lot more banishes. Okay, so it'd be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we would have... But how would you banish 20? Okay, there has to be something that refreshes banish or something. Because, like, I could understand maybe getting to 10, but, like, how would you banish 40? Unless there's some other mode. And unlocks it. Complete the collection 1.0 unlocks Sigma. Interesting. We can see what items we haven't unlocked yet. Evolve the bracelet. Okay. I mean, I kind of want the Santa Javelin upgrade. That weapon was actually kind of fun. But so far, I like that way more than Cross. No contest. Evolve the Millie Bolil. Acquire 50,000 cash. Interesting. 50,000 for evolving the Night Sword. Beat 100,000 enemies in a single run with Moonspell. Interesting. Survive 15 minutes with McCoy Oni. Oh no, we can play as the Oni. Interesting. What to play as those other characters? So these are DLC. I think everything talking about Mount Moonspell and beyond, or even potentially Santa Javelin. Is uh bonus stuff. So we've unlocked 101 of 163, which is not too bad. Any other characters I can purchase? Starts with temporary cooldown bonus, triggers a rosary when health reaches critically low level, likes to keep secrets. Wait, he just gets free rosary? Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Wait, he gets actually free rosary? All I have to do is take damage? Uh, we have to play as him at some point. Yeah, the character with overhealing slightly increases max health. There, I think before we play her, we should play as the cleric. Because I almost guarantee you the cleric is going to give us a uh, arcana that will make this character broken. Because I think there's a character where like every time you heal and overheal, you increase max health. I think you literally give yourself his passive. Which is very silly, stupid, broken. So yeah, most of these characters we completed stuff. We might go to the next area and try it out. The Cleric was like my early character for climbing before we got to play as these characters. Just because this character's HP regen becomes completely insane with other things. So before I had money, this was like one of my first purchases. Them and Gennaro. 40% duration speed bonus minus 40% move speed. Uh, duration kind of sucks. But you can see by default, this character has a 420 area attack radius. So if I just stand still, he'll just nuke the beginning area. So he's useful in several challenges. How do I change the character look? Ah, uh, there we go. So going forward... And toggle them between different things. Thing. I like their base for the most part. Like that one might be a little better. Make them look more like each other now. If I want to. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean for the most part I'm liking the defaults, to be honest with you. I keep hitting cancel, thinking that it's like canceling the select, but we don't need to do that. Oh, we can't we can't change how the skeleton looks, that's sad. That one maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the... We can't even change the color of the doll. Come on, game. <laughs> I like how Lita doesn't have anything. Lita just has, like, ridiculous stats. Yeah, Lita, for those not aware, Lita starts with, I think, 3 armor and 100% might over other characters. Yes. And also 10% more cooldown. They're kind of insane. Also, Santa starts with... The Lita starts with penalty to greed. Looking between these two characters. Santa has more luck than normal. It could be fun to do a luck build on him. Interesting, interesting. So we'll see how, how we feel about some of these characters. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, the change. We could get more power-ups in theory, but does it matter? I, I could buy another curse, I guess. But let's take a break here. How do we think things went, chat? Well, we have a new interesting one. Starts with an evolved weapon. True, true. So yeah, I think some of those characters were kind of fun to play as. Lita's big downside is he is massive, so it's harder for him to be safe compared to other characters. But extra armor helps. So he might be fun with curse up when there's more to kill, for sure. So I think next time we'll play with, uh, again, we'll just keep going through the characters we've unlocked. We'll push this time to like a new stage. I don't really want to unlock the thing that gives us the, you know, the thing where it's like Lancet plus Laurel equals insta win. I'll only maybe do those for the survive 31 minute challenges. We already technically beat that challenge. Now we could just take the challenge as we want. Do you know what I mean? It's like, uh, do I really want to raise their stats? Not really. It's, that's not why I enjoy the game. I don't, I don't want to turn it into a grind. I just like to explore, kind of feel different characters out in different stages. And that's about where I want to go with the game. I don't really want to be like, oh, I hit 6,500 might today. Like, no. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Maybe we'll reserve a character to break their stats. We'll see. But I think other than that, uh, yeah, it looks like we still have quite a lot of content to go based off the collection. So it seems like we've not unlocked nearly all the stages. So it seems like there's even more DLC we haven't seen. Break Poe, make the old man a god. You know what? He deserves it. <laughs> The old man will be putting in the work. He starts with garlic. He needs all the help he can get. I mean, I guess I still prefer garlic over cross, to be fair, though. I would actually genuinely prefer garlic over cross start. Cross is so painfully bad. I feel like they should have raised cross's damage a bit more, to be honest with you. It should have been basically, like, way better than knife. Maybe even better than axe, but it doesn't scale as much with levels is how they should have done it. Instead, it's just kind of like, it does okay damage. But like, does it compete with an axe at all, even without slash? Hell no. <laughs> Do, does it compete with knife? Nope. <laughs> Especially not on the evolve. So, I mean, it helps that you could give it bounces, but I feel like knife bouncing is like quadruple greater than cross, to be honest. But anyway, I think from that standpoint, we'll uh, unlock more things in the future. And I guess we'll give one more shout out because I forgot to do that at the beginning of the stream and I just remembered to do so now. Let's give a shout out to... Let's stream elements load, it'll figure it out. We'll get there eventually. Tycoon FTW. You're wide open! Or Tycoon for the win. I think other than that, chat, uh, let's talk a little bit after we wrap up here and say goodbye to YouTube, and then uh, we'll take a break. So if you did watch this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to thank you for watching, and hope to see you again next time.